Don't you forget about LD. Don't, don't, don't you. This is the Laserdisc Wolfpack THX CAV Special Limited Edition Podcast. everybody i am sam hatch and uh, we're going to talk about laser discs and beyond this time we're going to get into a little bit of soundtrack action we'll tell you more about that later but first i gotta pass it along to the man who taught me that when, when it comes down to making out whenever possible put on side one of led zeppelin four ryan cushing thank you sam that is true side one is really good um, you know what else is really good? Our sponsor, Seaforce Water from Chuck Norris. <laughs> Premium artesian water from the Chuck Norris Ranch. Excellent. Now passing it off to Maxi. Oh my goodness. I wish that I was also drinking the water of Norris, but I have a fresh glass of Glacier wherever. So <laughs> Maxi Malaysia is queen here in sunny southern california here it is 72 degrees and it we are above the uh, valley here and uh so i'll pass it off to chris altman thanks maxine chris altman here from a very rainy damp charleston south carolina glad to be back with the wolf pack uh to talk some laser discs with y'all appreciate y'all having me excellent glad to have you back brother it's been quite some mm -hmm. time and uh yeah we're gonna get into some music this time around mixing it up a little bit and it kind of gives an, an excuse to flex and show some you know some vinyl and things like that uh so, so basically the concept we're gonna rock this time is is top five soundtracks you know but combine it with a laser disc so uh i decided to kind of go more with um stuff that's like you know less score and more kind of song heavy soundtracks um but We'll see what we got in here. And again, I eschewed using CDs because that would have opened up a whole new can of like cool stuff to choose from. But yeah. um, I just went with vinyl uh, for this. So let's let's do it and go with something Spencer's going to hate me for. The sweet, sweet adult smooth jams of Against All Odds. Uh, yeah. A nice deluxe widescreen of the film. It's a film noir remake. So therefore it is uh, heretical as a film, but I really enjoy it. It's got, you know, Jeff Bridges kicking ass, James Woods kicking ass. And uh, the soundtrack has, of course, the famous Phil Collins song, Take a Look at Me Now, aka Against All Odds, which, you know, you know, it's this nice, smooth song you hear on the radio, but it's pretty dark stuff. I mean, it's about a broken dude, basically. Uh, it's got some Stevie Nicks on here. It's got Peter Gabriel. It's got um, some big country, Mike Rutherford and a killer song called my male curiosity by kid Creole on the coconuts. But then it's got some amazing like score stuff from uh, Larry Carlton and uh, Michelle Columbier really, really moody stuff with like nylon string classical guitar. And uh, it's just like, it's kind of pulsing synthesizer music. So uh, I used to spin this a lot. So yeah, I know it's got a bit of a reputation as being like, you know, that cheesy, um, light 100 radio kind of stuff but uh it's got some rocking jams on it number four i'm going with gotta have some david lynch <sighs> twin peaks fire walk with me yes. uh angelo badalamente uh working with david lynch and and uh there's some crazy stuff in here of course it's got like the theme from the tv show that everyone knows and loves and, and some of the other themes kind of revised revisited in there but then it's got um 
uh, was it the Sycamore Trees? Uh, really, really a just haunting song. And it's got this big, uh, this is great scene. It's probably like my favorite club scene in a movie where Laura Palmer and um, uh, Laura Flynn Boyle's character, but it's not Laura Flynn Boyle in this movie. Um, <laughs> I forget, Mar- no, it's not Mara Rooney. I forgot who played her in this one, the cutting edge girl. But anyways, they go to this like creepy, like, you know, nightclub and, they're screaming over the music basically so they have to subtitle them because you can't hear it because the music every time there's like a club and like charmed on tv everyone's just having a regular casual conversation um but it's got this badass jam going over it uh real just heavy sounding stuff i love that uh it's got some strange stuff like the black dog runs at night the black dog runs at night it's like some weird kind of like jazzy poetry type stuff killer stuff and we had to go with something John Carpenter. Got to have some John Carpenter. Uh, had to do a bit of trouble in Little China. There's only one song per se on here, and it's the awesome uh, song Big Trouble in Little China. And uh, super, super, you know, it's, it's got some cheese to it, but it's super fun. And, man, just the titles, that it's the perfect <laughs> music for Kurt Russell going along talking trash in his cb radio and his truck and ah yeah so this was a bitch to find back in the day too i used to love john carpenter soundtracks but for some reason locally they were never in stock ever like they were like the hardest things to find and i found this at a convention one time there's a newer they're all widely available now from mondo and all that stuff there's a newer like two disc but that's my og one and uh What's this? Are we up to number two? Yeah. Had to go with Legend. Sorry, Luke, if he's watching. It's not widescreen, but uh, I had to go with it. This is the American version with the Tangerine Dream score. I bought this from Strawberries Records and Tapes back in the day. Tim Curry looking super sexy on the cover there. Amazing his cover. Mega horns. Uh, it has like the Tangerine Dream score, which is my favorite of the two. Sorry. Uh, Jerry Goldsmith fans, but uh, it's got one of my probably my favorite Brian Ferry song on there is "Is Your Love Strong Enough," with David Gilmore just ripping it on guitar. Uh, awesome video as well, and it's got a John Anderson from Yes song on there, and just killer Tangerine Dream music. And uh, just for you uh, people pissed at me, I do have the Jerry Goldsmith version and the That's... Jerry Goldsmith soundtrack as well as bonus. Excellent. Number one. Big surprise. Lost Boys. Yes. <laughs> nice. uh, man, the soundtrack. You can actually see this thing's got, if it focuses, it's got a little bit of you know fractures from just too much overuse. It's got one of the lamest covers, I got to say. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I did get a punch out when I bought it brand new. Um, Jimmy Barnes, man, that dude is such a voice. Uh, he's got, what, Laying Down the Law with NXS on here. Um, Good Times is like the perfect summer night jam. Lost in the Shadows by Lou Graham, uh, Roger Daltrey doing uh, Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Me, uh, Echo and the Bunnymen doing The Doors, People Are Strange, and Gerard McMahon's Cry the Little Sister, the theme from The Lost Boys, which is right. untouchable. And sweaty, sexy sax man himself, Tim Capello, with I Still Believe, which is a hot jam, yes. man. So yeah. much good stuff on here. Uh, so, I mean, this is like a rock and roll movie, and you got to have the soundtrack to go with it. So that's my number one. Passing it on to my man Ryan. Awesome. I uh, did not have any of those five. Damn. So I like that's it. That's really good. Look at well, us. I know, right? We we <laughs> totally shared notes. Yeah, yeah, I read your notes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to start it off with a rather common disc and uh, common soundtrack, but one that just kills. Oh, nice. Start off with a nice Willem Dafoe movie that just really really good movie with music that drives it and it's the wang chung soundtrack which sometimes you can still find super super cheap like five dollars or less and it sounds better on vinyl too oh yeah well i mean obviously oh yeah i mean the way it was meant to be right yeah (laughs) and uh moving on uh there's a little movie that uh, might have a sequel coming out sometime soon what is that? Uh, it's oh, it. Oh, I can read that. Uh, Top is it, what gun. is it? Fire Firebirds. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I think it was Firebirds. But this soundtrack 
is amazing. You've got you got a little bit of everything on here. Yeah, you've man. got some logins. You've got some cheap trick Berlin. It's just it's just a good soundtrack, and uh, everybody Sorry, knows Zeppelin. All the songs. Berlin is like ultimate makeout jam. Oh yeah, yeah totally. And then uh, of course I I do have the THX one because why wouldn't I? Of course, AC three. <laughs> yes, indeed. And then uh, there's this guy. Uh, he did a movie, but he was a musician. But it was a really really <laughs> cool movie. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's about a TV station. Nice. But the soundtrack is fantastic. Wow. Yeah, and, buddy. Uh, yeah, original promo stamp. Well, I mean, why wouldn't I? But it's got Spatula City and yeah. Money for Nothing and Biggest Ball of Twine in Minnesota, which I've actually seen. If you haven't seen the Biggest Ball of Twine in Minnesota, it's quite gripping. Like, it really, really puts you in the mood. And you've got this song to listen to to really, like, set you up. But I think the, mine has a as a foil stamp for a promo too. I think, that's I because they, they didn't any. make any regular ones. <laughs> <laughs> they sent out like thirty copies to radio yeah. stations, and that's it. Spatula City rules, though. Oh yeah, and then uh, and, and Gandhi too. Don't forget Gandhi too. True, yeah. <laughs> um, have you guys heard of this movie? Wow. Oh, yeah, I don't know. This is yeah. I, I couldn't find this Isn't for the anime, anime episode because I'm a I was a yeah. chump and put it in the wrong spot in the alphabet, <laughs> but I made up for it with uh, the sweet, sweet soundtrack. Uh wow. I think this was yeah, this was a record store day. Shout out to hmm. Culture Shock Records in Rockford. Uh it's on Autobot Lord, yeah. Red and Decepticon Purple, and mm. it has the touch with Stan Bush, the, the, the voice of 1980s jams for movies. And then you've got Weird L on here, among other things. Dare so, to be stupid? Yeah. Wow. So uh, this That's is cool. this is a great, great soundtrack. That's super cool. And then number one, this is uh, probably the soundtrack of me being in high school. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you've heard of these kids, but they're very family friendly. Ooh, do you and, have the box set? Oh yeah, ah, sick, sweet box set, lenticular <laughs> slip oh cover. Gosh, another record store day. Yeah, it was a record store day. Uh, probably shout out to Culture Shock Records again. Yeah. Uh, but not only does it have all the songs from the movie, it's got all the extra ones. You've got your uh, up there from Satan, or sorry, wrong side. You've got the. Uh, the nappy roots doing riches to rags you've got josie featuring kid rock with kyle's mom is a big fat bitch Mm -hmm. um you've got the dvda version of what would brian boitano do which is amazing you've got rupaul there's some guy called uh getty lee i don't know people might have heard of him yeah he's obscure dude yeah yeah, with uh alex lifeson yeah another featuring terrence and philip though yeah with oh canada and then of course every single jam from the movie this yep. is multi-disc, and each disc is colored because it's record store day, and they can't. Lenticular, baby. Yeah, they can't That's tweak cool. out the tweakers if it doesn't have colors. What, like, why would I go to record store day if I can't get a colored <laughs> variant? But yeah, that one I waited in line for. I'm proud to say that. So, well, look at you. You found a way to flex. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was not the goal. I just those are yeah. like I grew up with Transformers, and I you know moved to South Park once I was a teenager, so it just worked out. But uh, yeah, so those are my five. I'm going to pass it off now to Maxine. Well, so far, so there good, go. guys. No no, uh, new duplicate. No dubs. All right. No dubs. Okay. Um, this is really hard for me to put in like a quote unquote, like one through five. So I don't want to number these. These are just the order that I stack them in because they're just, I like them all. So. I, I, I just you. realized. I hear you. Have, it's I just, it's too hard. It's so hard. It was so hard. Mm-hmm. Okay. I just realized you have a Van Halen pendant, so I well respect. This is this is uh, this is going to show up in my in my list here. Also, right. I have my I care about music. I heart Pioneer is my shirt today. Wow, is that like a Pioneer? Sorry. Like yeah, <laughs> like <it>. fundraiser. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I care about Pioneer music. Was. I care about music. Yeah, <laughs> I like it. Save the company. I saved that one for for today. Mm-hmm. So, okay, this is just the first one I'll show. Got to have that. Yep. Nice. Breakfast Club. This is like pretty much the only version of, of it on Laserdisc. There's a widescreen version yeah, I know. of that, which is ridiculous. But unfortunately, my, my vinyl here has a little bit of uh, not goodness on there because it's yeah. water damage. But 
the record is fine. Um, and this is just one that, I mean, it just goes without saying, all of these songs are great. And um, this was one of the first soundtracks I ever like sought out besides like Grease, which I had just from my parents. Um, but basically this was like the first soundtrack I ever just bought because I loved the movie so much that I bought the soundtrack. I had the CD somewhere, but this, I now have the vinyl, so. What's the Wang Chong song? Fire in the Twilight? That song yes, rocks. Fire in the Twilight is <sighs> great. And also Carla DeVito, We Are Not Alone. I mean, yep. yeah, love this one. And just, I mean, obviously Simple Minds, it goes without saying. Don't even have to yeah. mention it, but you know, don't you forget about that song. So. <laughs> I sense that was coming. Yeah. Yes, of course. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. This one. I love 16 Candles, of course, and I don't think I've shown that in any other list. And so I was thrilled. I found this at the same time as I found the um, the Breakfast Club. I found them from the same yard sale, Damn. actually. But um, this has a shorter track listing. Just Did Oingo there. Boingo make it on there? Oh, it damn. Uh, is, is uh, Stray Cats, Annie Golden, um, Ira, Newborn, and the Geeks, oh, Patty yeah. Smith, and Thompson Twins. Oh, Thompson Twins is the jam. It's the jam. From the end of the movie, yeah. Oh, for sure. I mean, if you were here, it's just like... That's the... Yeah, that's the song. Which warms my heart. It's the... <laughs> Happy birthday, Samantha. Did you just steal Vinny's top five, or what's going on? Yeah, no, right? Where's that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this next one... Ooh. Halo nice. Flex. Damn. And this one has kind of a cool cover because it's this on one side and this on the other. And oh, who's on that thing? So this is um, Bananarama. Um, it's, it has quite a bit of like the score that, because Van Halen did like all the music for Wildlife. Gotcha, yeah. A bunch of songs that like were songs before they were songs, which <clears throat> I think is pretty cool. There was a few that, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's like right now before it was ever the song right now oh yeah 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 so there's quite a bit of that going on in this in this um in this whole movie which this movie is like great actually as well just like um chris chris penn and uh leah thompson and i think oh yeah jenny wright and eric stoltz are in this as well and this is a great movie so to have that kind of like dope van halen soundtrack and then it does have some other songs kind of like through like throughout it like the um uh wildlife and metal of the night both kind of some good ones on here but yeah Sick. basically cool cool soundtrack from that one and it's got andy summers on it shout out to andy wait <laughs> you mean the police guy or the guy that has the home theater <laughs> i was i was both. purposely mixing them <laughs> both yeah shout out to andy nice oh. yeah this is, this is pretty freaking legend and then the 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 image on the back and this is a gatefold too yeah yeah buddy and i That's... i mean i love this movie i have watched this movie a gazillion times and the soundtrack is just proper for yeah, that movie. mob it's rules i mean freaking devos on here cheap trick journey nazareth stevie nicks um and of course donald don felder for the heavy metal yep so then Sammy Hagar. Oh, yeah. Is a jam too. Yeah. Heavy metal. He did Sa- heavy metal. Sa- yeah. There's like two heavy metal yeah. Yeah. themes. Yeah. Era. Yep. Oh, yeah. It's yeah, that rocks. Super cool. Yeah. Mob Rules is on here. This is great. This is a great one. I'm, I, I, mm-hmm. I'm, that's when I always, I was looking through all my soundtracks and I was like really surprised. Like, how did I forget that I had that? Cause I did. <laughs> yeah. And I need that on vinyl. That would have been on my CD list for sure. <laughs> Now I have like, this is a tough call here, because I have t- I have two that could be that I was debating between. So. Oh, now you gotta make the final choice. Gotta make the final choice here. All right. I, I cut some hard ones too, so uh, I feel your right, pain. I'll show it. I'll show it. This is you'll understand why I'm hesitant, but okay. So I'm gonna do like a t- a double flex here. I think. All right. So this is one of my favorite movies of all time. Nice. And this is the laser disc, and here's the original soundtrack sick heart which is i mean incredible one of my absolute favorites 
and I don't I don't normally speak of this movie because it's so good. And it's one that is truly meant to be discovered. And so the only reason why I feel like this is the time is because it was re-released recently. Nice. Nice. And this is so good. Damn. It's so good. I Shout love out it to Mondo. So they, yeah, yeah, they do Mondo. some nice repackaging. It's proper. Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's a, a proper job on that one. And this is a gatefold too, but I have left this sealed because I have the obviously the original press. So this one is open. And this is the one I've listened to lots of times. Yeah. But I mean, me and my rhythm box is like the <laughs> shit. It's the jam. Like, it's the jam. And just like <laughs> everything about this soundtrack is just wildly out there, spacey, like just 70s synthesizer just like you yeah. know just very like like theremin and just yeah. like um i mean it's like the drum machine that's just, that's in the, in me and my rhythm box is like the cr78 which like have that because of look with sky like there's a lot of like things where this now this movie i will i will preface it is not for the faint of heart or average person i feel like there are a lot of topics in it that are probably not quote unquote like pc by today's standards but like um i look at it but as more of a uh, a fashion film as like a music film as like an art just literally a piece of art rather than like something that you're gonna like watch in the same way that you would 16 candles or like, yeah and a total new york so, snapshot yes absolutely so and cool so cool it's super inspiring and just like the fact that the lead plays both characters yeah as being the androgynous leads and just like i mean <clears throat> just crazy insane weird quotable lines like delicious delicious oh how boring like <laughs> <laughs> so many weird things that just like I think of this movie like all the time it just totally means a lot to me and it has a freaking crazy cool soundtrack and I think if any other time there was a time to talk about it it's probably because I have all these soundtracks and they have done they did uh I heard of this other small format that uh got shrunk in the wash they did some of those sleeve releases little so, tiny things yeah Maybe. yeah those little those little shiny things that come in the mail I guess uh, that's what I've heard they come yeah. in packages weird <laughs> to look out for those <laughs> vinegar syndrome yeah <laughs> But they I might yeah, have they one of those things. downstairs. That was the only one I considered even buying. And I still didn't yeah. even buy that because I have three of the laser disc. I have the Japanese pressing and I have two of this one. And this one is actually signed by the, the director and the the Damn. costume. Damn. Who I love. Flex. So yeah, that was my that was my huge flex. This, oh, this is my uh this is my honorable mention. Oh nice, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I looked at that one tonight, and I'm like, man, that's a good Love one. Because I'm a blonde. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good choices. Thank you. I'll pass it to Chris. Thank you, Max. That was awesome picks. I did have heavy metal over here, but I had a few extras, so I'm glad that um, I, I pulled a few extras aside. Um, so I'm going to show one that uh, let's just call it honorable mention because it's a single and therefore it doesn't count but it's very iconic and i think everybody knows like you know how important it is um when you think of a movie and a theme or a score it's like the biggest thing ever but uh suspiria dueling (laughs) close the dueling (laughs) from uh deliverance um, which is, I don't know. At one point, I wanted to get a banjo just to try to play this. I don't know. It, it's so awesome. That's and of awesome. course, the uh, awesome pan scan deliverance. And that's just a drum single. Mention. Does that have like a remix yeah. or something? Or <laughs> nah, nah, man. It just has dueling one... banjos on huh. it no sure. by uh, Bob and Sam Springer. Hmm. Interesting. So there's the iconic. Um, yeah, this should be like the dumb. Mm-hmm. Man instrumental mix yeah and, oh wait it's all in the radio version yeah <laughs> um the next one is like a favorite of mine i'm not really much of a disney guy but i do like robin hood this oh, is sure. the best robin hood i feel like that that exists and it's actually like kind of a, um 
not a common vinyl record i feel like to find um that looks this thing's in awesome condition yeah. oh it is and it's got like a storybook in it but roger yes. miller i don't know yeah so he does like whistle he's a narrator he's the the minstrel guy that walks around and um he does whistle stop and a couple other songs on there but um i don't know this has always been a favorite of mine proud nice. to have the vinyl and the laser disc but that's about as disney as i get nice so that's that's my number five Oh. Uh, num- number four, I got to go with some some Italian stuff here. Uh-oh. Um, Ennio Morricone. Very nice. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Another great, great score. Great film. I've seen it so many times. Love it to death. Yeah. Um, I got the uh, letterbox. Cool. What is it? The MGM version. I don't know. There's probably is there a better version of this out there? I probably that's that's that the one I've always point. watched. So it probably is, but that's the one I rock. Yeah, I don't know. It's a good film, timeless. Oh yeah. There's some documentary too. Uh, man, I can't remember. It was it was um, I think it was on Netflix. It's talking about that that place where they filmed that that uh, the big stare off scene. Have y'all seen that? I forget what it was called. At the it was on like a year ago in the cemetery. That scene? yes, huh? Oh, I haven't yeah, seen it. It was pretty good. It's worth checking out. I I, gotta, I don't know. We talk later. I'll figure out what the title was. I can't remember. All right, cool. At the moment. Um, Just to let you guys right, know, so, there's yeah. a 98 release of that. That's a later release. It doesn't have uh, any AC3, but it's got CAV on the side four. So US or yeah, uh, really US 98 release. End of 98. So I've never seen it tonight. That. Okay. <laughs> all right yeah i probably have that all right. yeah <laughs> all right so i don't know i'm down to what i got three more yep choose well, wisely what do i pick <laughs> i know right so i'm gonna go with one that i can't believe this one gonna come up i'm gonna go with uh the wall pink floyd uh, the wall oh, I've yes. seen, I, um, I'm surprised this one didn't come up. But anyway, seen this one a bunch of times. There's a lot of WTF moments in there. A lot of uh, – th- is it like rotoscope in it? Is that what it is in there? Yeah. Some like an- like uh, anim- animation. I don't know. I, I'm i probably completely wrong there. But awesome flick, great music. Um, and then I got MGA – or MGM, Paint and Scan, and the Letterbox MGM. Yeah. No EC3 one? No, I don't have that one. I think the, it's the Pulse AC3. I have that, but that's Pulse is just uh, stereo. Yeah, but there's an AC3 one with the commentary track that everybody's always trying to hunt down for the wall. But it's like a later release. Hmm. So you, yeah, nice, nice. Brian will send give you his. I'm sure he's got one. I, I do. You got like three of them, I think. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Give give I, Altman I one. <laughs> all right, let's go with. I'm gonna go with all right number two. Sam already mentioned it, but I'm going to go with uh, Goblin. Uh, Syria. Sorry, I didn't want to blow up your spot. <laughs> no, I mean, no, no, we knew it okay. was coming. I'm surprised. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, you know, great score. What can you say? Number two. And uh, da, 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 da. all right, so I guess I'm going to go with this one. Uh, my number one will be uh, the Return <laughs> of the Living Dead soundtrack. Can you see that? Nice. Wow. Yeah. That would have been mine, but I don't own yeah. it on LD. Possibly I got the, the, the Japanese version. Yeah. Italian. Yeah, ice. man. We got we to gotta, we gotta fix that. Yeah. So this one's got a cramps, 45 grade, uh, flesh eaters. I don't know. It's good. There's a, And there's a big like music rights thing with this. Yeah, the damned. I don't think. Yep. Yeah. So, that's, a, that's an OG uh, final too, huh? Yes, sir. Nice. Picked this up at the record store. They had it. I don't know. I picked. It. They actually had part two as well, and I grabbed it. Yeah. And I mean, I've never, I've never even like seen them mm-hmm. anywhere else. And I don't know. I, I when you see that, I was just like, all right, I'm gonna pick it up immediately. But um, I don't so know. Many, so many great jams heart. on that, man. Oh yeah, for sure, man. Glad to have it. Um. But yeah, man, top five, definitely hard to pick. Um, but that's what I got. Nice. Good choices. Sweet. Yeah. Thank you. I'm glad somebody chose uh, Return of the Living Dead. Yeah, and The Wall. Those are both really like proper. Iconic. Choices. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep, yep. I almost had the yep. song remains the same in the Warrior soundtrack too, man. But mm. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it's just top five is just 
it's too you can't li- i don't know yep. it's hard to limit to that but yep. we're nobody not gonna had, hold you to it time nobody had grease either i know the grease I, love man i couldn't find my freaking soundtrack of it <laughs> i almost did that i really did <laughs> yeah you should have uh so we got it we got a write in did you want to read the Vinny list uh ryan or did you want me to do it or yeah um in no particular order because right. he sent us more than five and we somehow chose five but uh <laughs> yes <laughs> and we it, superimposed over us right now you'll see them uh yep. the king of comedy yeah which i don't really i don't know what's on that music wise me neither uh <laughs> weird choice, science Vinny. weird science i have yeah yep. yep. that's a good one streets of fire awesome the terminator again iconic and uh some uh, band called spinal tap from this is spinal tap yeah that's Who's another awesome that? choice he yeah. did include the pick in his photo because he was flexing with that sweet pick it doesn't help play the movie <laughs> yeah that's good man i, I rock, rock with all those except for king of comedy just you know out of ignorance really but yeah but yeah weird science has got killing joke and my boys oingo boingo again some really good stuff and uh ira and the geeks are on there too so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah streets of fire man dude oh, streets of fire is great yeah the fix and uh it's got that stevie nicks song but before stevie nicks did it was it was it sorcerer i think that's on there Sounds right. And then yeah, the Diane Lane, yeah, Jim Steinman jams and yeah. And was it If I Can Dream About You? Was that the name of the song? Yep. So the super smooth jam. And yeah, Spinal Tap, man. Those guys are legends. Oh, totally. Stonehenge. Yeah. You guys ready for a wolf? Pick? And pick the Armageddon soundtrack. I, uh, I wanted to, but I, I couldn't do it. Mm. <laughs> it's Thank not you top for not five. doing it. It's yeah. not top five, but do you have know. it on vinyl or do you have oh, it on yeah. CD? All right. <laughs> Look at you. That that must have been like a reissue, right? They probably didn't release that on vinyl in ninety. Yeah, yeah. I think it was. I don't even think it was record store day. I think it just came out like the like the Aerosmith soundtrack. Basically. What else is on there? Is it just all Aerosmith songs? Or what? I mean, there's some like Ben Affleck audio and some Aerosmith and maybe some more Ben Affleck. I I can't remember. I mean, do, do you really need anything more than that? Um, Billy Bob Thornton. All right. Yeah. <laughs> sorry top gun sorry led zeppelin for the new make out disc is ben affleck stuff I mean, on the armageddon uh, soundtrack did it ever <laughs> stop like you know no it's got zz top and bob seger on it as well so like right, there's, there's right. some actual like good stuff on there but you know there's that song about missing or not missing i it's whatever yeah we'll probably you, talk about it yeah uh. i mean i don't think the country version made it on there so that makes you feel better what was it? Did they make like a part two to put the country music on? I remember it, that was like a big deal. Have to no, two like, parts it, it every like soundtrack. Charted both on the rock charts and the yeah. country charts because they were like same two song. versions of the same song. And it's like because yeah. we needed to hear more of that. Yeah. Yes. And then there were like actual classic Aerosmith tracks, but yeah. we're not we're not talking about that tonight. All right, I'll we'll come back the next time. No. <laughs> I'll hit some '90s stuff in the next one if we do CDs because uh, I got some good choices. Sweet. Yeah. All right. You guys ready for a wolf pick? We release Criterion soundtracks. Yep. Let's do a throw down. All right. Uh-oh. Here we go. We're going to go. Um, you guys get to choose. And now we're doing like another LD. And so you can choose whether or not you like the movie and the soundtrack together, or maybe one soundtrack's just so badass it wins out. Whatever you want to do to kind of come up with a justification. But we're doing the purple one versus the purple one. Oof. Batman versus purple rain and this this batman doesn't count but uh <laughs> I'll, I'll put that to the side so there you go it's prince versus prince prince versus prince i'm gonna let ryan go and then i'll i'll jump in at the end well i did watch this this week what's that this, tiny thing this movie is not good and did not <laughs> age well but the soundtrack is baller yeah that being said the overall efforts from the Batman movie soundtrack is really good. It's it's not Purple Rain level, mm. but the movie is so much better. So like I'm gonna like if you do like scoring in both categories, yep. I'm just gonna arbitrarily pick Batman, even though like Purple Rain's a tough one to pick straight over the music, but the movie's just which laser yeah. disc better? What? Which laser disc is better? Well, the Purple Rain, as we were talking about right before the show, it's a uh, 
It's not widescreen. Oh. <laughs> it did not get like a new re-release. Like yeah. you would have thought with all the money they made off of prints in the 90s yeah. and at, even before that, they were like, hey, let's run this gravy train one more time. But yeah. it must have got reissued shortly after Laserdisc died or something. But uh, So it's pan and scan. But uh, there's a widescreen Batman and it looks pretty good. <laughs> all right. Oh, yeah, Batman for sure. All right, solid. What about Max? What do you got? choices um tough choices here i this is i don't know this is very difficult i mean i love purple rain i love her boy i love the record i love prince but batman i suck. i think i'm i think i'm gonna have to go with batman i mean the soundtrack right. is is really good and i mean probably the most iconic batman if you had to like put it next to a different batman well then maybe that would be a different choice but you know that is kind of like the proper batman so all right what about chris all right i don't really don't consider myself somebody that's into like superheroes or anything like that like i don't know all the marvel films like i haven't really seen them can't tell you the timeline you know but i will tell you one thing i think batman is the shit like <laughs> Batman rules. There's no doubt about it. My vote is Batman 100% final answer. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sweet. All right. We'll see how I can mix it up a little bit. Yeah. Purple Rain, as we mentioned, oh, let's go crazy. Darling Nikki, uh, yeah. epic. Uh, when Doves Cry, I Would Die for You. I mean, this is, you know, untouchable hot stuff. Like Ryan said, the movie, eh, not as much. For me, Batman, the soundtrack, I never liked this one as much as the Danny Elfman one, sorry. But uh, I like the songs better on here than I do in the movie. Like, the way they were mixed in the movie was always weird for me. Like, it always sounded like it was coming from down the street. Like, even when it was, like, jamming in the the art gallery. And, like, it was always just kind of like, what? Is there someone, like, playing that down down a couple houses down? It just never kicked you like it should. Um, but you can crank it up to 11 on here. Um, the jams aren't as good, but, you know. LD, yeah, crappy old 80s LD for a movie that's not as good as Batman. And then a sweet, sweet letterbox copy of Batman. Killer soundtrack, uh, killer surround sound. Um, I'm going Batman. <laughs> Sorry for Blurry. Huh. I mean, Prince driving around on the motorcycle is really, really, you know, peak 80s. But but we should mention in the video for, is it Bat Dance or Party Man? I think it's Bat Dance. Bat he dance. scratches a laser disc. Bonus points. Mm. So bonus points wow. Yeah. So I think that makes him. I think that makes Batman win automatically. So <laughs> it does. <laughs> I like it. All right. Well, thank you. We're going to put that out to the uh, the fine people in the Laserdisc Forever community and see what they have to say about this. Yeah, I don't think it'll be near as unanimous. I think it's going to be more split, or maybe the other way. I don't know. Yeah, see. we shall see. I mean, yeah. I mean, Purple Rain is an iconic soundtrack. So it is. Yes. Uh, what's coming up next uh, you want to do some recent pickups sure all right cool all right let me jump in i got some stuff finally uh including stuff that i had before that i got rid of you know i don't know why <laughs> but i uh went to my record store and the guy's like hey i got a box of laser discs in and of course it was all like every star trek movie every star wars movie no techno disc um a couple other things i had but he had minty copies of Home Alone and Home Alone 2. Nice. Yeah. I don't know why I sold them, but I sold them when I had them before. My earlier copies were equally minty. but um, And then everyone just started talking about this for over the holidays. I'm like, why did I get rid of those? I'm a total idiot. So, uh, yeah, I got these you know, pretty cheap. He hooked me up. So they have returned. And uh, some nice fellow that I'm friends with um, gave me a heads up that this was hitting the market. Mm. And uh, so, yeah, I got a nice sealed copy of the Elite Q the Winged Serpent. Great uh, Larry Cohen film with uh, what David Carradine and Michael Moriarty's classic in it, Richard Roundtree. Um, not like a ton of extras or anything, but it's just really nice presentation and uh, cool, you know, low budget stop motion animation. Yeah, this is a you know, cable classic. I saw that. I love it. It still has like three stars, Gene Siskel. Like, that's actually like you know, a legit <laughs> good rating for a, uh, you know, a small monster movie and again it's got a lot of good like new york 
yeah, early what early eighties New York vibe. What year is this? Eighty two. So, yeah, cool. And um, my boy Vinny uh, told me that this was on the market, so I finally got the DTS copy of Sweet. Vertigo. Yeah, uh, which I love this art. I mean, the signature collection is cool, but it wastes so much space with that big, you know, silver metal style. Uh, this you know just rocks and. It's not a gatefold, unfortunately, but uh, it's just got both discs crammed in there. But it's I got a, a nice copy, and I don't know, whenever I find DTS copies, they're always really ridden hard. I don't know what it is about DTS discs, man. It's hard to find minty copies of these things that aren't you know super expensive. But um, yeah, so I got that in the mail, so I was psyched about that. And uh, the slow boat that I bought in October I finally rolled in, and I got this freaking giant ass whoa gundam box set so this is this is the outer box and it's um the original tv show uh if you haven't seen it it's you know a giant robot show from japan from 1970 1980 and uh it kind of launched a whole series of, ro- of robot models that took off which in turn kind of made the the anime show take off um but yeah so if you bought it originally it's it's two sets that came out in 1998 and um, if you bought it originally, it came with this and the first box. Let's see if I can find it. Everything in this thing is sick. And this was entirely brand new. So I had to unseal everything. Came with all the hype stickers and everything. So it's got slip covers inside the slip cover. Wow. Um, really, really gorgeous stuff. And then it's got you know, the markings on the side to let you know if it's part one or two. If this will. Yeah, there you go. And then inside fucking that is an inner 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 slip cover with Whoa. the info about the discs and then each one of these boxes has three gate folds and then like a booklet a collectible foam insert tons of stuff i'm not going to really dig into that wow and uh the but the artwork is fantastic like that's one of the gate folds super badass yeah that's the gundam it's like these big mobile suits with like a laser sword it's kind of like a robot samurai wow and uh yeah so it's six of those and then <laughs> like a couple months later uh this second one came out so it's like the same thing i'm not gonna empty this one out oh. i just happened to be watching it so i i left that one taken apart um cool but yeah gorgeous stuff took forever to get but it finally arrived and there was some bonus stuff in there, not uh, not laser disky, but um, I got a Ryuichi Sakamoto and a Tokiko Kato LP, and a Minute Work uh, program guide from their 1983 Japanese tour, and cool. uh, nice. what else is coming? I think uh, Public Image Limited is coming in. Uh, yeah, and Thin Lizzy are coming <gasps> too. So get your tickets wow. now, kids. Yeah. Wow. Sayonara tour. That's yeah. rad. Yeah, pretty pretty badass stuff. And it's got, you know. Now, where is Men at Work from? Uh, they are from Australia. A place that you may have heard of often referenced as Down Under. Okay, thank you. I was, I was trying to set you up for that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't take the easy dunk. Sorry, Ryan. <laughs> That's it. That's what I got. What do you get, Ryan? Um, as you know, I get laser discs from time to time. Uh, Just from time to time. <laughs> this was no different. Uh, so we're going to catch up on some uh, non-crazy uh, Indonesian or wherever else parts of the world. Uh, let's start it off with a nice uh, Broterian thriller. Wow. I believe Maxine spotted this one for me, if I remember I, correctly. I, I feel like I did. So I you've got like some did. dude with a gun in his pants, and he's holding it very suggestively. There's a gun above him, and then he's got two chicks, one on each side, and he's not looking at either one of them. He is just he cares about the on. Gun. Yeah, don't just look straight ahead. Yeah, and, so, and the gun turns into a film strip too. That's yeah. Cool. I mean, that's very uh, highbrow of this Rotarian. Is he an actor? <laughs> it's it's Andrew Stevens. Uh, hang on, his credits are The Terror Within, which sounds like a movie, Night mm-hmm. Eyes, and Night Eyes Two. Mm. Oh. That's that's borderline. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, it's got Sally Kirkland, oh nice, Anthony Franciosa, Richard Lynch, but like the back is just a giant explosion. Oh. 
Wow. So, I mean, this can't be bad. No. Of course. It's yeah. it's at least a 7 out of 10. Yeah, you exactly. Scoring, and then you've got the eyes staring at you, so it's just, it's gr- just good it's stuff. Great. Um, I got this sweet uh, Linda Blair film. Oh, that one's hmm. really Grotesque. good. I, I've not seen it, so good to hear. Yeah, and right. it's on the official Broterian label. Yes. I feel like we just got Linda, Linda Bear, Blair films here. I don't know. Seems like that every other set in like Northern California. It's actually like really cool. Nice. Where's the punch out? I didn't see the punch. <laughs> There's no punch. What? The I, film. Apparently that one sold. It's a, media, <laughs> it's a media release as well. Yeah, yeah, it is. It might be a counterfeit. I'd look into it. it might be a you know, yeah. It's knock off. I, I actually made it in my basement. I have a yeah. this press. <laughs> I got a an early late release. Hmm. I've Ooh. heard of this. Yeah, nobody ever this, has that one. I got this from Peter and Trade actually. Hmm. So sweet, sweet October Sky. Nice. Cool. That's a good movie. And then uh, a few other things. Uh, I I didn't have this version, oh, so now I do. Nice German pressing, sweet gatefold, like. So, I I can't I can't be sad about that. Is that one disc or two discs? One disc. Is that PAL PAL or NTSC? NTSC. German. Yeah, it's one of those and few German Beebles, NTSCs. Right? Yeah, like uh, most. How many are there? Two. There's two or three German ones that I can think of. Yeah. And it's only like Holocaust is in TSC. That's yes. One. Yep. And that's the other one that I can think of. And there might be one more, but the rest are all pal. So like, it's really yeah. crazy. Like uh, meet the feebles on the same label as pal. So yeah. uh, I got this. <sighs> yeah. This is the first release. Uh, and I believe, no, it's not sealed, but uh, it's got the hype sticker OB. So like got lucky there that they didn't take the shrink off. Cause I would yeah. have lost like, 30% of the picture. There's like so many different pressings of that too. <laughs> yeah. So that, that was, that was really nice. Cause I had a U.S. copy and it was just beat to hell. Mm. So black covers. Dude. Then, I, I, yeah. Have you heard of these guys? Are they? Yeah. Good? They're, they're pretty, they're like uh, a, like a bar band. You know? Yeah. Like they're, they're small. They're, are yeah. they even together still? Probably not. They probably nah, not nah, that big. Yeah. yeah they, they, I think they broke up in the eighties. Yeah. They, they don't have their own jet. Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> have their own jet. Yeah. Um, uh, got this blind date. It's like a thriller horror with uh, Bruce Willis, Kirsty Alley. Actually, uh, that's a different blind date. And this is uh, Japanese only. So, oh, wow. And it's sealed. That's like crazy. I can't believe it. Like these ones normally have like foxing or yellowing, but this one's like mm. sealed in as good as they get. Wow. And then uh, I don't know if you guys have heard of this movie, Surf Ninjas. Mm. Wow. Yeah, yeah like this cover is kind of all over the place. Like, yeah, right. This is one of the few <laughs> Japanese covers that I'm like, what's are there? There's there's waves, but there's no surfing. I, I don't know. Is that guy uh, giving a high five or? Yeah, there's a lot going on here, but yeah. so Gosh. definitely a cool, wow. weird cover. More ninja, um, less surf. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> they were focused on the ninjas in Japan. Oh, dude, Mega Force. Mega Force. Cool. Like, that's, look the, at that's... this sweetness. I, Deeds, I mean, not words. Yeah. And then the battle back. label too. Mm-hmm. Oh my god! Like, look Incredible. at this. Yeah. yeah, I I just buy them based on the photos. Like, I, mean, I don't even know. Like, you could tell me that that's like a romance movie, and I'd be like, well, it's got bikes and tanks. Okay. Yes. <laughs> if you if you read Marvel oh. comics in the eighties, they put so much money into that thing. They used to advertise the fan club. Heart like before the movie came out, they're like, join the fan club. Nice. Like, how do I know I'm a fan of it? Oh, um, you just have to know. You, they probably saw the cover. Like, yeah, and yeah. that was it. It just had that oh. sick art, and I'm like, that's, yeah, buddy. <laughs> Number one fan. And then uh, I completed my oh! Ninja Trilogy. Oh. Show Kasugi, baby. Congratulations. Thank you. This is this is not easy to do. And uh, I, I, had, I think I got that one from Bill. Wow. He, like, he upgraded to an Obi, and he's like, here's my scrap Return of the Ninja. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oops. <laughs> he's always like, take my hand-me-downs. <laughs> Yeah, darn. Yeah. <laughs> and then I, I got a few other weird foreign ones. So uh, I sent Sam some photos, mm-hmm. uh, and he can overlay them. But this movie, I when I pulled it out to clean it because it's from Indonesia, it was like tape and like gunk, and it was just coated and looked mm-hmm. disgusting. But uh, it cleaned up perfectly. So we'll show those photos, the before and after, and you'll you'll see it, and you'll be like, man. 
but uh, shout out to Novus, the official polish of Laserdiscs. <laughs> yes. Uh, this movie is pure danger. Oh so you've God. got uh, C. Thomas Howell there. Porn C. stash. Thomas, <laughs> like an exploding, I think, police car, yeah. maybe? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. PM oh, Entertainment. God. You know that's quality if PM's involved. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, more fire on the back and swimsuits and that mustache Nate again. Yeah. yeah, like that's that's a winning combination. And it's uh, an Indonesia or Singapore only release because <laughs> I don't know why they didn't get the states. That would have sold discs. 100%. I feel yeah. like if they would have just went with the Indonesian marketing scheme of is there an explosion on the cover, we'd still have laser discs. Yeah. Well, we're danger. <laughs> uh, another sweet Broterian, East oh. LA Warriors. Like, Whoa. This guy's like punching <laughs> on the cover and she's got her arms <laughs> on him. And then you've got there's a gun a gun in yep. a wife beater yeah. and and white pants of course uh this is taiwan only. Mm-hmm. yeah so uh, another sweet looking bro Tyrion. there's a there's a like boxing ring or something Ooh, going on. okay so yeah i love this yeah that's i i haven't seen this one yet but i'm definitely gonna have to check it out hmm. and get back to you with a, yes. a review but it's at seven already so just in Absolutely. case you're wondering 100 percent Maybe eight that has LA on the cover right there. Here's another fun one. This is True Vengeance. It's uh, Indonesian only. I had to add this one myself. I think I is also that a added... THX logo. <laughs> not not only THX. You've got an AC3 logo. It has neither one of those. <laughs> like they just straight up lied. But and it's, it's on true. the back too. It was oh, like man. they planned it. Yeah, <laughs> but it never actually worked. Wow. I don't even think they planned it. Like. I've noticed there's been a couple of these where they're like, uh, digital Dolby surround, and there's not even a digital track. Like, it's just analog, and you're like, eh, I don't care. I, I can't be mad. But uh, this is a new ad, and uh, it's wow. Daniel Bernhardt. I love now, it. how does True Vengeance stack up against Pure Danger? I, you know, I'm going to have to find out. All right, good. Yeah. Report back. Yeah. And then I got a really cool one here. Uh, it's another Daniel Bernhardt flick, Indonesian only, from the year 2000. This movie Whoa. came out in 2000. Wow. So, Black Sea Raid. There is hmm. just Go a lot going on there. You got guns and, and screaming like at someone, explosions, and that guy's dead. And <laughs> huge, huge haunt. Yeah. And the, you got a helicopter. Ooh, a helicopter. Back. Yeah. So, uh, you know, there's action if there's a helicopter. At least, at least seven and a half. Yeah. And then. I, I managed to score the most Broterian as fuck cover I've ever seen. I'm really ready. Um, <laughs> you guys need to be ready for this one. This I'm one, trying. I think, takes the bait out of every cover I've ever seen. And that is Cross Mission. Oh, hmm. my God. Look at that shit. Oh, like, my God. There's guns and there's guns and there's guns. And oh, by the way, there's fire and tanks and helicopters and missiles and fucking name it like and that dude's rocking a gun show look at those veins man seriously like he is so shredded this this is like a nine without even putting the disc in i mean this is insane with bandanas yeah yeah, yeah. they are insane. saving a lot of things i'm sure they're oh saving her God. from she got herself. Daisy dukes on God. there she's yeah. barely yeah. wearing anything this is yeah just- I, I, I don't even though. know what this movie's about other than it's the greatest movie ever based on the cover there's tanks yeah oh my god this and then incredible. the back is just as good. It's all action scenes, and you've got like one American, and the rest are all like Filipino actors, and nice. you know it can't be bad. They're not quite as ripped as no. they are in the drawing, but yeah, they, I feel like they might have exaggerated him <laughs> just like ten percent, maybe just a little bit. Yep, dude, I need to hear that soundtrack right now. Yeah, I, I, it probably doesn't even have a score. Let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> synthesizer pure all the machine way. guns and like synthesizers and like. helicopter blades yeah. <laughs> yeah so like that that one uh there's one other guy who happens to have it and what pro- yeah what? I, I have no idea where but it's just insane you should meet up so. and hang out yeah we should yeah I, I i need to find this guy and be like can i just take all these extras off your hands you you don't need them trust me but no so that i i was really really happy to get that because I'd seen that cover and I was just like, I must own this. I don't even care. Like it it's it can't be as good as the cover, but the cover is so good that I can just watch that and put the yeah. movie on mute or something and yes. get the same result. So yeah. So how about you, Maxine? Well, I have had 
a swag score. Ooh. Like nice. a really nice level of swag here. So um, I'm debating about what to show first. I think I'll show backpack. Ooh. This Ooh. is like, What's that? I put some. Oh, some I was going to say. On it. X is on it. <laughs> yeah. I love that. Awesome. <laughs> but this is freaking a straight up laser disc backpack. Damn. Like this is this is like been screen print is original. This is old. This is original screen printed laser disc. Can you fit an LD in yeah, it? Yeah, is it big enough for LD? Is it wide enough? It's not quite wide enough for laser disc. <laughs> Eight inches. So silly. But it's like not quite. <laughs> so you can't take like, a shopping. All right. Quite. Not quite, but it is a dope backpack. Yeah, and it's a freaking laser's backpack. Like hell yeah! Ah, I love that. Yeah, okay. I'd wear that around town. Right? Okay. Now, since that's something big, I'll show something teeny tiny. Right. Let's see uh, if we can get focus on it. I see a laser disc logo. Oh, is it upside down? Yeah, it's upside yep. down. Okay. Yep. All right, it's tiny. A little LD and then some like fancy. Laserist Pioneer. Yeah. And then some like kind of fancy shinies. Yeah. Some like rainbow lines there. But yeah. It's a pin. Sweet. Nice. So mm. that's going on a jacket. Excellent. And then I got. Ooh, Pioneer. Nice. Pioneer, 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 Pioneer. <laughs> that's awesome. Coffee. Gonna have my coffee in this one. Does it change color when you fill it up with hot I coffee? Wish. Yeah. <sighs> cool it almost had that look i don't I think know, they had that does. technology back then only on shirts <laughs> only yeah. on freaking your yeah your yeah <laughs> touch my shirt changes color bro and your gloves Ooh. nice very understated and uh nah because the music does matter it does matter it's yeah. good timing for this one too yeah but this is just true laser just blue i don't think my camera's oh there we go that's like yeah. Getting more of the true blue there. I'll Turning save the best one logo. Last. Old like logo. It? I like the old logo bet the old logo better than the new one. Yeah, I like oh, yeah. the tuning fork logo. The tuning fork's the shit. Again, because the music matters. And this one's really cool because it's from a sound shop. With a PE, so you know it's high quality. <laughs> no Ohio. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's from sound Ohio. shoppy. Yeah, Ohio has all the high high quality stuff. Yeah, but this one's like I have actually I think a couple with this stripe logo, but damn. This is the cool one that actually says music matters at the bottom. I don't think yeah. I could wear that if I wasn't in like a convertible Camaro or something though. I think it would be against the law. Or in this jacket, right? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Might have to go full porn stash though. Yeah. <laughs> I might. See Thomas Howell style. Yeah. Yes. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm saving the best one for last here. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. I haven't seen that before. Me neither. <laughs> wow. This is incredible. You should repro that. I think yeah. I might. Yeah, that's pretty it's cool. Honestly, one of my most favorite things I've seen. Damn. I just love it. It's like, like kind of like color bars. Like it's like I'm trying to see if you can see that it's orange there because it's it's also kind of like a it's a beige shirt, hmm. which is like interesting. But yeah, the that's color, a I love the colors that the the stripes are. They're like the true laser just blue there, but then there's like purple, orange, and red. Hmm. Yeah, it's almost like a candy can or something. But yeah, it's cool. really, it's really just cool. And I didn't, I wasn't expecting it to be a beige shirt until mm. it was like showed up and it was beige. I was like, whoa, okay. <laughs> yeah, you think that'd be That's white? Or yeah. black. I know, yeah. right? I know. I might, yeah. We wow. we might see this one again because it's just it's too good of a logo. Yeah, bring it back. I love it. Okay, I got some discs. All right. For Christmas. One. Ooh. Nice. Nice. Hi, Fred Olin Ray. Isn't that Troma as well? Oh, yeah. This is Troma here. Oh, yeah. And nice. it has uh, Jan Michael Vincent in it. Yes. Hell yeah. So you know it's going to be interesting. <laughs> High quality JMV. Yeah. Ah, uh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I didn't have this freaking bizarre ass dinosaur. Yeah, man. But this, like, the, this is like a mood. Like, that so face bad. is a mood and that was like a legit big you know big was, quote unquote movie back in the day it was that was a very expensive dinosaur to have yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so bad though he's was, like he looks just like this clay lump like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it 
But yeah, they were totally pitching as the new ET, basically. It was, it was so much <laughs> terrible yeah that's classic total classic oh nice Nice. steve james yes awesome cover too i know i love this cover so much i mean the back is good too you know yep it's got fishbone in it i'm rocking the shirt (laughs) cool freaking had to go a little bizarre celebrity (laughs) is that martin short (laughs) What? I think it's Dudley uh, Moore. Dudley no. Moore. Okay. Why? Wow. Steven Seagal. Man, it definitely looks like Martin Short. Yeah, I think that's him in the middle there. I just is that Whoopi know. Goldberg? Yeah. <laughs> why? Why is Steven Seagal on there? That's like, great. He's great taste in wine. And like, Robert Loggia. I didn't know there was Russian wine. That is like the weirdest wine party right there, hanging out with all those people. Is that Man. Kelly LeBrock? <laughs> I couldn't. I could not have this. Oh, that explains Steven Seagal because they were together at the time. Oh my god! Uh, this is just the most hilarious thing. Ever. It was like a Kanye Kim I thing. Mean, they were packaged together. Like, it's like Frank from freaking Scarface, right? Isn't that him? Yeah. <laughs> Robert <laughs> Zosia. He's what? I know. And then the back is just very Hancock. unassuming, like <laughs> great, <laughs> nice before and after. <laughs> what was their target market for that? Yeah. Honestly. I Is guess no the idea. expense of laser discs plus the expense of wine. Like, like man, what? it needs a THX logo to make it, it even does. better. It does. It's like it's I'm so. so it's, is it highbrow? I don't know. It is digital. It digital is sound. Digital. Did you get that free with like your Franzia box or like, what's going on? Does it have cool like smooth jams? I hope it has cool smooth. Oh my jams. gosh, I have yet to watch this, but it does have a Herbie Hancock. So you oh know. yeah, he might be providing what? Yeah. yeah. That's... I will report back on this because <laughs> what's the yellow sticker say? Is that like a rental? It was a two day rental. <laughs> Who rented that? <laughs> you could rent great. cross mis- mission or celebrity, celebrity guide to watch. Guide. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just Man. making me laugh. Oh I'm looking. Ha- I'm looking forward to hearing about that. Yes. One. Yes. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to share that. <laughs> On a totally different side of things, wow. Johnny Mathis. <laughs> Johnny Mathis. Check out that sweater. It's the Christmas special. Uh-huh. And I have been wanting this for a while. And like, I don't know. I kept missing getting this for some reason. And then now, thankfully, I finally have it. We need to get that sweater for Trevor. He does need it. <laughs> yeah, that is a sweater. There, like... sweater. I mean, look at that. <laughs> it's a gorilla. It's a straight, like, ski man. He's, yeah, it's a dude's yeah. skin. He's like oh, cutting some lines great. through that snow. Yeah. That's a ski disc top five. It, it counts. Is. It could count. It could count. I bet they're skiing because there's music videos. So, all right. Now we're getting into some serious Brotarian territory here. Hmm. Oh. Yes. Yeah. It's better than Kickboxer. Honestly, this is really good with, you know, the whole Van Damme storyline. Hey, you know, someone doesn't feel like doing the sequel, you kill him off and you make a new brother. Just keep going, man. Yeah. Keep going. There's always new brothers. <laughs> There's always yeah. another brother. It's like the whole reason why Kickboxer 1 was even Kickboxer 1 is because Van Damme had a brother. Mm-hmm. So it only makes sense to just make a third brother. Carry the tradition and then on. kill both brothers because yeah. they didn't feel like coming back. So of course, you know, of course. There's always another one. There's always another one. That's awesome. Now, this may be the Ooh. best Kickboxer. Man, he's he's pissed off. Now this one is ridiculous because it's like all of a sudden there's guns. Yeah, what? Well, who brings like, a gun to a kickboxing fight? I mean, it was that like guy. travel to a foreign country, and then just like he's just with his like sensei guy, and then all of a sudden they're just freaking like mercenaries, like as and they're just like dudes from like. California basically. There's no reason why they should know how to use these weapons at all. There's no pre- there's no former training, any reasoning behind it at all whatsoever. And they're just like, here you go, bro. And just like the whole freaking thing is like, yeah. You they know, it's jump the shark. <laughs> I like it. I love it. I love it. This was right. my favorite. It was ridiculous. But look at that guy. He's so pissed. He's but serious. Now, what oh, yeah. I appreciate though is that this is the same man. From Kickboxer 2, and he stayed through the series. I Man, he's not his brother. He's the same dude. He's the same guy. 
right. He is. He's still Van Damme's brother. All right. He's still that guy. But and he was dedicated. He, you know, I mean, the, the freaking kickboxing in just both of these two is just mm-hmm. actually really good. But that whole, I mean, that series highly recommended. This one, though. Yes. Yes. What? So good. Nice. I mean, the badge, the kick. How could you not? Hell yeah. So, the best part is that's a sequel. Oh my God. But it doesn't the matter. Samurai cop? No, no, it's the first Omega one. Cop. Taekwondo Omega Cop. Cop. Yeah. Oh so, my like, gosh. in Omega <laughs> Cop, you can find on like a cheap, like, it probably went to like uh, drugstore coasters. Like, hmm. it, and it's the only one that you can find. And uh, you can't even find like VHS easily or anything. It's so ridiculous. Oh my God. Wow. I, I, I'm really, I mean, it's literally like in the future, there is no law and order. It's oh, so good. Not Travis. <laughs> I just like Roddy Cop. I'm really looking forward to this. Man, that's a score. Who's he kicking up that high? Yeah. The back looks good too. Kind of looks a little Mad Max ish. I mean, yeah. I'm excited. Oh yeah. Oh. You'll enjoy that one. Thank you. I'm glad. I'm glad to know that it's good. This is a scene. What? Yes. This American kick. Does not get an, a, a a previous, or is this the only one? Did this um, the only one? I don't think. I it did not look. on Laserdisc, okay. as far as I remember. Okay, that's what I thought. So I won't have backstory, but I'm sure that will not matter. Man, it's got twice everything that you need. Action, you danger. Explosions back here. I mean, it's just like the big explosions. Black. It just looks proper. I mean, the explosions mm-hmm. look like proper. Yeah, that's hopefully that's as good as that looks. It can't be bad. Chava Queen. Yes. Oh, we're talking Billy Drago there. I see some I Drago. Mean, yeah. And another, and the other Swayze. Like nice Don. And that's uh Chuck Norris's son, I believe. Yeah. Is that Aaron Norris? Aaron Norris, it's, yeah. It's him. It's, 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 Nor- it's got the Norris on here. It's got the McQueen and the Swayze getting all of the, you know, hype of the last uh-huh. team, but it's none of the ones that come to mind first. I love stuff like that. That's awesome. That's funny. Billy Drago is just icing on the cake and an explosion and a helicopter. I mean, it, it's just I mean, yep. and guns on the back. Yep. And but Chad McQueen, I mean, it's just like there's no question. I'm going to take it. I'm going to go on a limb and say Billy Drago is the bad guy. I think so. His head's <laughs> large enough. His sneer is big enough. <laughs> yeah, he's always sneering. Yeah, so that's Mike Norris, not Aaron. Oh, oh okay. But still, Chuck Norris's son. Still worthy. Wow. All right. Aaron Norris is the uncle. And brother of Chuck. Yep. But that was Don <laughs> Swayze, though, right? Yes. All right, good. Yes. Oh, dude. What? Piper. Really? Did, you, did you raid my collection for this? Like, <laughs> who was just, someone was just sending me Tybo memes this week. Must have been... This is so freaking exciting. Like, nice. I mean, it's great. Just as great on the back, too. Like, this yeah, is the freaking session of watching all these. I'm gonna start with Karate Cop for sure, though. That looks freaking. I like. I'm glad I got a recommendation on that one. One hundred percent. And if you find the coaster of it, the the first one is just as good. Okay. The, the, eyes off of that. the guy, the lead guy, he did like six films, and they're all just ridiculous and impossible to find. And the, I doubt any of them will ever see Blu-ray. Like, hmm. that's how like just out there and amazing they are. So I'm excited. I'm really excited. That was that was um that was all of them. All right, what's all my got? Awesome. dude? How am I how am I gonna follow up to all that, man? That, like, now you know why I go first. <laughs> Golly! <clears throat> all right, well, prepare yeah. to be disappointed. <laughs> I'm all never right, disappointed. So, <laughs> all right, so I think Ryan maybe led me onto this one or gave me the heads up on eBay, but I got oh yeah, crash and burn, and look. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so this one's got some like a baby explosion down here, and some giant robots. Yep. I haven't seen it yet. It's some 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 sexy time here, and a big giant robot. It's mostly Good people stuff. like hanging but, out in a factory. Yeah, <laughs> and like yeah, ten of minutes really, of robot really happens. The robot does yeah. show up eventually. Yeah. What's the other one? Robot Jocks, I think, is yeah, very that was similar to that. And yeah. Robot Wars yeah. is really good too. Yes. One more for full moon completion, and it's on the way. Damn. Nice. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. 
So then I uh, I got a Kobos package, I don't know, about a month ago. But I got uh, nice. Blackmore's Night. And this oh, is like a 97 sick. release. Nice. Yeah, man. I haven't seen it yet. I'm ready to check it out. Shout out to my buddy Dave. He Black drums Wars for Blackmore's Night. Night now. So. Oh, nice. He's what? the troubadour of Aberdeen. He also drums wow. for Rainbow, too. So. Wow. So, David wow. Keith, what's up, my friend? Good band. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Good stuff. So I'm uh, through the spirit of uh, Trevor. I got uh, one last run. <laughs> yes. Yes. I have, have not seen this yet, but I'm excited to check it out. Um, it's got Tracy Scoggins and Niels, Nels Van Patten. No guns or explosions, but curious the colors, to check it out. man. Pure Doesn't powder. Matter. Check out those colors. <laughs> yeah. Explosions. Of I haven't seen this one. I haven't seen this one, but looking forward to it. I've, I've, oh, I've nice. seen others have it, but the Willies. Yes, yes, yes. That's a, that's yeah. a great one. Sweet. Yeah. So looking forward to watch this one here soon. Um, <clears throat> and then uh, staying with the Trevor theme, I got Ski Patrol. And yes. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan definitely uh, gave me the nod on this one, too. It was an auction that I no one else bid on. What idiots. Yeah, so I got it pretty serious. cheap. Damn. I feel so, like yeah, the man. only copies of Ski Patrol are owned by the Wolfpack. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, then I also uh, picked up my last uh, Amityville to uh, a new generation to complete that. So I'm sure this is garbage, but I'm yeah, I don't even know if I saw that yeah. one. Damn. It can't be bad. It's on Laserdisc. <laughs> the last yeah. one I saw was the one where they so moved it to gen- LA. Which ones? Dude, who knows? They just keep the store going. Yeah, yeah. There was like a a clock from the house in New York that was like possessed. That was yes. the last one I saw. I don't know <laughs> if it's that one. Yep, yep. <laughs> I think you're right. <clears throat> and then uh, Cushing again hooked me up with another Moonbeam prehistoric wow. too. So yes. I, I'm getting close there as well. So yeah, man, excited about checking this dinosaur flick out. I think I'm gonna watch this one with my boy. So we're, I'm looking oh, forward to that. Nice. But uh. Yeah, man, for sure. Um, but yeah, that's that's all I got. It was short and sweet, and uh, not not a lot of like explosions or none uh, <laughs> guns or knives, but still still quality. I feel like. Yeah, that was a good list. One hundred percent. That was, was, that was some good stuff, and yeah. not easy to come by. No. Yeah, good mix. Not man. at all. Besides, you can't out Ryan Ryan anyway, so <laughs> don't even. Buy no, it, yeah. it's like. Psh- no, those those were those were tough finds. Like yep. I know that we were looking for Crash and Burn for a while for you. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cool. Man, the other ones are coming from overseas. It should be here soon. I don't. I don't. Even, I never even got tracking for it, but I'm just. Hmm. It should be here within the next three or four weeks. If not, I'll start complaining. Nice. When do you yeah. order it? When did it ship? Uh man, it was probably middle of December. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah. It's coming from Germany, I believe. Oh, then you're yeah, we'll probably see. about due. I got a C, uh, a Monomarth yeah. CD coming from Germany that's been missing for like <laughs> three months now. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? I mean, I'm not, it's all good. It just, it'll show up eventually or yep. we'll figure it out. That's it. Just wait it out. Mm. All right. I guess, uh, I guess that's everybody's stuff. We'll do some uh, recent spins. Wait. If your kids are ready. All right. Might we watch these movies or is this just we do right oh okay. yeah might not be quick because i actually didn't watch a ton of, i watched a lot of streaming and stuff like that and and uh, little tiny Oop. discs i don't know they're like that big i don't know they're weird man um but i did watch uh just because i have to show it every single week I, I watched this ymo disc again you know i was doing some stuff i was hanging up some laundry or something and putting stuff away and i put that on again but uh, I've been entirely watching the Gundam box set. So it's like, you know, it's uh, 12 discs worth of crap on here. But um, this, you know, the series is early, you know, late 70s, early 80s stuff. So it's it's old animation, but it looks fantastic. Um, if you haven't seen the show, but it's, uh, it doesn't have the hero, but he's just this like mechanic. It's, it's very futuristic. It's uh like two warring factions is the earth federation and a, what a Zeon uh, principality are the kind of warring factions, but th- people are venturing into space. So there's colonies and stuff like that. So it's not all just, you know, 
on a future earth and uh yeah it's got cool like 70s sci-fi stuff like you know those like tubular space stations with the you know the, if you look at it from far away all the, the walls kind of go up so it looks like the earth but it's in the fish islands kind of so it's got great design and the colors are just fantastic gorgeous detailed and uh, yeah so it's got this mechanic kid who ends up kind of tripping across this new prototype mobile suit the, the one that's cut in half in the back is like the old ones that the villains use it's like very um inspired by the starship troopers book uh because they had those in there and uh yeah so he's got he's basically like a robot samurai and he cuts these dudes in half and um it just moves and then this guy is like the bad guy char he's uh you know, kind of wily and, and he's kind of like a, a cool, he's like the villain that you love. So you're kind of almost rooting for him half the times as well. But um, yeah, I'm tearing through these things. It's great. It's, it's mono, but since this came out in 98, it's got digital sound and um, it looks fantastic. Like even when I watch it, I'm like, I don't even remotely want this on DVD or Blu-ray. This looks like absolutely fantastic. You know, no noise or anything like that. It's just, yeah. Badass cool. kick-ass stuff. And it's got, you know, a, it's seventies. So whenever there's a battle, it gets like super funk jams. There's like ripping bass lines yes. and nice. uh, gets, it gets wicked funky. And then it's got like the old school kind of like Japanese theme songs where it's like very, very serious, like lounge music stuff. It's like, <laughs> Hello. Gundam, yeah. And it's like all real over dramatic and stuff. So uh, yeah, fun stuff. That's just one, one of the, you know, six gate folds that uh, come in the set, but, uh, Highly recommend it, but that's all I've been spinning. You know, I've been watching old South Park episodes and Nick Cage doing swearing. Oh, that Other is than good. that, <laughs> shout out to Nick Cage, yeah. whose yeah. birthday oh, was yesterday. Good. Yesterday, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. What fifty seventh? Yeah. Yep. Right. He's ageless though. Yeah. Not like Paul Rudd ageless, but still ageless. What have you been spinning, Ryan? So uh, I did manage to get five in, but I, I, I like you have been watching some of the other formats because. Uh, uh, I just had a backlog of stuff I needed to see, like uh, Action yeah, USA like... and Beastmaster. Shout out to Vinegar Syndrome. But uh, <laughs> I did watch Streets of Fire. Oh, nice. And Aww. I enjoyed it. It was really good. And I, good fighting and a little bit of explosions and everything else. Got some romance. And I don't want to spoil it, but uh, it was definitely not the uh, characteristic ending, I'd say. Yeah, it's fun. Nobody really knew what to make of it when it came out, but I think it's kind of found its audience now. And it's got Willem Dafoe. I mean, it's dude, uh, and he's crazy looking. So. Yeah, it, it's great. Um, I'm I'm a little jealous of your your Gundam box, Sam, because I had that, but instead I spun this, <laughs> and the wow. cover looks cool. Yeah, and it's got this sweet like rope, but it it just seemed kind of plain and boring, and it just didn't pull me in. What's so that, what's I, it about? Do we know? I, I I I have no idea. I don't speak Japanese. It just it, it couldn't pull me in with what it was yeah. doing. Did it have so, boobies and or violence? It had some, but it just the violence was just kind of like eh. It, it okay. was just it seemed very boring. Like I I kept like losing a track of like what was going on, and then like all of a sudden the episode would end, and I'm like, did I did anything even happen? And then it start the next one, and it'd just be boring again. And I'm like, there was like no lead up or anything to like draw me in. Yeah, you should so, watch Gundam. It it just balls to yeah. the wall. Yeah, I I I, I will because I, I showed it <laughs> off in the last episode. Yep. So your box was just you know minty and mine was Ooh. good, but not great. Yeah. So watch this good nice. movie. Uh, huh? um, Chuck Norris does get the girl. Um, this was oh. pre canon films. This one, watch out! It's a little media. Yeah. Mm. yeah, this is really early uh, Image Entertainment, and uh, you can tell. This one's kind of rare for, they probably all got thrown away, but. Uh, Who made it 3M or a PDO I think so. UK? I think or, it's yeah. 3M. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's a little rough, but uh, it goes down smooth with uh, Sea Force water from Chuck Norris. <laughs> and uh, speaking of Paul Rudd, uh, the name of his penis is the Octagon. Ooh, what a <laughs> wonderful tie-in we've done there. <laughs> I did watch this. Uh, this, yeah. is, this is definitely <laughs> something interesting. Um, oh yeah. Uh, needless to say, um, there's there's story. acting in there, but it's 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 not a good movie. But it's, that, that, it's it's got some guns. That artwork is like super bootleggy looking too. Oh yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. But it's in English with no subs or anything. Uh, so hmm. yeah, 
it was nice. it, i i was happy to have watched it and also sad at the same time because i it, it you'll it never just, get that time back not yeah <laughs> not, a, not a great movie and then i watched this uh yeah right buddy. Whoa. this that, is aces go one? places too yeah yeah so i don't think this was as good as the first because mm-hmm. This one was a lot more slapstick. The first had slapstick, but this one like was almost over the top at times. Yeah, it gets pretty silly. But the sequences with the the driving and the robots just make up for it. And look at those outfits. Oh yeah, (laughs) and these guys like the the chemistry between uh, Baldy here and uh, Zach Gordon New, and and this guy who is not Jackie Chan. Trust me. No, no. Um, they're just really good. So like this like this was competing with some Jackie Chan, Jackie Chan franchises at the time. Yeah. Like this was like the, the other studios response in China, but just really good, really entertaining, nice letterbox presentation. Uh, so I really, I really enjoyed that. Um, Sweet. But, yeah. So it, it, those are ones again, I, I can't sit down and watch Hong Kong cinema unless I sit down and watch it. Cause it's subtitled in you either, you know, the language or you have to like keep locked on the screen. Cause you don't want to miss anything. And I love the subtitles because sometimes they go off screen and the, you know, yep. they're blown out against white backgrounds. <laughs> yeah. So like, is my hands off the screen? That's like the last half of the last word. And the yeah. first half is like right about there. Like, so, you know what they're saying, but it takes a little bit and, and they yeah. don't do anything with the background. So sometimes it's white on white. Yeah. So you, you really do have to watch it, but like. It, you get the context. Yeah. It, the funny thing is, is it's letterboxed at like 2.35, I think. So there's space below. And above for, for it, yeah. But no, the subs are still in the picture because they. It's because wanna... they were actually, I think, on the prints, and I think it's just like a pretty bad copy of the print. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, the, the transfer is not bad, so I, I can't complain. Like, if you ever find them and they're not like super expensive, which I don't think they are, if you can find them, it's weird. Like some up. some guys are like you know, asking for tons of money for them, but then yeah, I, yeah. I think because Jackie Chan's not in it. Mm, it, yeah. it, like it, that one slides under the radar which is awesome because it's yep. really cool so i do have the other three after this so i'm all gonna right. i'm gonna watch them all slowly Keep going yeah I'm, I'm really excited to just churn through the entire franchise so uh <coughs> maxine what did you watch call in the stack here all right what's okay. in the stack well i will shout out to christmas time because i ah. have this I watch this on Christmas pretty much every year, along with a lot of people do that. I don't have that on LD. Is that a gatefold? Um, it is not a gatefold. It I wouldn't think so. Box. It's this letterbox. a letterbox one. It's just the classic. It's pretty sweet packaging, though. Yeah, I like this cover. I mean, the other cover's like, okay, it's just kind of a silver color. Yeah. The pan and scan version, but the letterbox, it's just bit nicer yeah that's sweet same image though but it's i like that on this more kind of like custard yellow kind of color mm-hmm. i watched you've got mail Ooh. which has a good amount of holidays in it yeah well, yeah right that kind of moves has, around has a little thing has um has like school time you know freshly sharpened bouquets of pencils and mm-hmm. <laughs> all these things that nice. like sound kind of dangerous and Unless you knew the context, like. <laughs> now, now, is that one about Amazon or? Oh, oh well, that? I oh. think it was the, the what was that the 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 instant messaging. Yeah. Oh, ICQ. It's all about yeah. ICQ. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I will opened and watched. Oh, nice. Yeah. Little guy. Oh. Which was really just crazy weird. I think a lot of it was anime. Really? Uh, okay. It was like a, it was like, I don't know what I'm watching moment mixed with like, it was so fast because Mm. it was like, it was just like a thing, like an ad for something. And it's in all in Japanese. Um, There'd be like a little, like a little entry moment of like an, uh, like an, you know, like an image logo, but not for image for something else. I forget exactly what the logoing was for, but there'd be like a logo and then Mm. like a moment of something anime that I didn't recognize. And then it would be over and then it would stop. And then uh-huh. it would be a different logo and then more something else anime. All of the things were animated. And I wonder it if it was like the emotion logo. Was did it look like a uh, one of the statues from Easter Island? Um oh my gosh. Because that's I'm the gonna, emotion I'm logo. Gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna screen grab what the logo was. 
that I saw, and we'll we'll put it on top here. That's the one that the dudes uh the the motion was the one the dudes were saying. Oh, it's like the vaporwave logo from the nineties. It wasn't or whatever. quite yep. that. It was right, not. So it didn't look as vaporwave. All right, so yeah, it must be somebody this else. Nike Q also. All right. Era, but just I mean the whole back is just like, you know, damn. Not a lot, not a lot of info to really. That's do crazy. Anything. It's in color. It yeah. Is. And, and TSC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really cool though. It was cool. I I thought it was interesting to say the least. And since that was short, I watched the disc that came with this puppy. Ooh. And this. Oh yeah, from the magazine that I got. Yes. Sound recopel. The whole the whole book here, and the little the little disc is in the front. Well, little, little discs there. In that the is pouch. cool. And uh, it has test patterns, like are on the front there. It has test mm -hmm. patterns on both sides um, at the end. Nice. And it's kind of mixed in with like some like national park scenes and like, <laughs> but then there was some like action moments. Like there were a couple trailers for like, like Firebirds with Nicolas Cage, which oh. I was like excited to see, mm -hmm. but just like overall, it was, it was really like weird. Hmm. It's like, that's what they chose, you know, like Firebirds didn't do that well. Like it, yeah, it's they, not Raiders of the Lost Ark, you know, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That was just like hilarious to see what they did choose like to put on the disc that they put in this book yeah because it covers a lot of titles and like i don't think they chose like their best stuff for that day <laughs> yeah they couldn't get licensing for anything else what i don't know it was yeah. really funny huh and then um and then i watched 16 candles and breakfast club oh, yeah. had to just to make sure you were choosing the right ones yep choosing the right ones, yeah. <laughs> but you know i mean good stuff super good would you watch yeah. chris all right so um i uh i'm gonna give you my christmas movie i watched and it kind of ties into the theme today which is perfect mm -hmm. so i watched <clears throat> silent night deadly night nice. you know, during nice. the christmas time but then I was lucky enough to snag a soundtrack oh, yeah. for oh. Record Store Record Store Day Black Friday, which is actually a really good um, Christmassy vibe. It's very it's, there's nothing sinister or anything, mm -hmm. and it's got like an ad from like Iris Toys. Anybody else pick this up? No, it didn't. Oh, pick this up. That's cool. But this is pretty cool. Like it's actually like some good music on here. Um, but yeah, it's like an ad from Iron the Toy Store. I don't know, cool, cool That's stuff. Nice. But That's cool. Awesome. Little, little Wolfpack tie-in the soundtrack. <laughs> That's <laughs> cool. You get extra so, credit, buddy. Yeah, totally. Yeah, man. And then I uh, watched uh, the LD version Ooh. of Eraserhead. Nice. Which is uh, God, what a weird ass movie, man. <laughs> yeah. Like Link was so ahead of his time. Um. I don't know, like Crest Punk, whatever. I don't know what the hell's going on. Steampunk, film, but everything it, it, punk. <laughs> yeah. Dude, it's, it's just like, so it was so out there. And then, you know, what was it, like 78 or whatever? Yeah. Um, is that right? right? Yeah, so. It was the late 70s, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Cool, cool flick for sure. Um, so I checked that out. And then um, I, some of y'all probably already saw this. I think I may have posted it in uh, LDF, but oh. I got this day bomb. Wow. Yeah, this. Jealous that of that was, one. That, that was great. Yeah, man. Like, help action. Glad to have this one. This one was great. How long is that? It's like half hour or 45 minutes? or uh, 52 minutes. Nice. That's pretty good. So Considering their songs are all like yeah, you know, yeah. 10 seconds. <laughs> Yep, and there was a, yeah, two songs. Right, there's a lot, yeah. <laughs> Thirty six chapters. Damn. On here, a lot of a lot of little interviews, but it was great, man. Um, it it was definitely like uh, a great little quick watch. Who's singing? Then, Is that pre Barney? Is that like old 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 stuff or? Um, it's got all their like name stuff on here. Oh, okay. Uh, da, 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 da. It was recorded a bunch of different places. It looks like gotcha. Ninety. Yep. Released in 91. Hmm. Released by Earache. Um, nice. But then, as I'm doing the annual like Christmas vacation, watching that movie, I'm like, shit, man, I'm like close. Might as well just pick up the other two uh, movies in that, in that franchise. And I got them and watched them both. And I, so I 
So of course I I picked up European Vacation and watched oh, that. Nice. Which which I feel like I like that better than Vacation. Mm, wow. I don't All know. right. I, I like. Yeah. Well, that's strong and, words. And then I. Yeah. Then I <laughs> Really, really. Oh, yeah. 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 It's been, yeah. And then I, and then I watched Vegas Vacation, which is pretty good as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so, that's Papa Giorgio. <laughs> that's right. So, that's pretty impressive with a three month old child at home. I know. Yeah. I was impressed you watched anything. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's pretty and good. And then I watched uh, Nick Cage curse a little bit as well. Yes. <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah. I, I've gotten four episodes down in that, so we're getting there. I don't know how many there are there. Is it six? Six? I think? Yeah, like five, maybe five. Okay, yeah, I, I saw the first two. What uh, what service is that on? It's on the uh, the flicks of net, right? I see. I see. Yeah. <laughs> you'll get a just use the code Wolfpack and you'll get a free yes. uh, free you account. Get a free thirty seconds to look at the website. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> It'll be out on DVD in 2026. Maybe. Uh, yeah. <laughs> maybe. Yes, yeah. At a local yeah. dollar probably store near you. Yeah, yeah, probably not. Might All be right. Dollar Tree, maybe. Well, good spins, everybody. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. Well, and normally we do a mailbag, but I didn't throw out the, the net for any new questions. And uh, I don't know. I don't I think I have any leftovers from before. So let's uh, just dig into like hot topics or free for all stuff. Anything anybody wants to talk about. Um, let's, uh, let's dig in and see what's been. Going on. Well, there was Nick Cage's 57th birthday that Ryan yes. was nice to post about. So thanks, buddy. Uh, I did Absolutely. not watch any Nick Cage movies, you know, apart from that Netflix show. Yeah, we were honoring him with modern content, which is okay. Yeah, that works. Which uh, reminds me, I got to get um, this new Mandy merchandise with his. I, he granted them uh, the permission to use his likeness on the merchandise, which apparently he doesn't do ever. So. It's like a big deal that like his character red is all over the new t-shirts and stuff like that. So nice. Yeah. Sorry. It's not LD related, but Mandy should be on LD. Yeah. Totally. Dude, great play. Great play. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so you, you didn't watch the crudes too? No. The crudes too? No. Oh, hmm. did you? I did. I do have a two and a half year old though, but was Plus, Nick Cage in it? Uh, yes, he is Excellent. the father. And then uh, I did happen to see the Christmas Carol, the movie from 2001. Hmm. So I have seen every single Nick Cage again. Wow. <laughs> Christmas Carol was rough. Like, ugh, don't yeah. watch it. Like, I don't it just, even think I've seen that one. Don't. Like, it's like the Christmas Carol story, yeah. but the animation's very just kind of like old feeling and there's nothing to draw you in. It's hmm. so dry. So just, just skip no it. explosions. Yeah, there's the, no like oh, it's so bad mm. like even cage's voice can't save the just boringness of that so S- saying he phoned it in i think everyone phoned it in. i think yeah. like kate winslet did a voice too and hmm. somebody else like there were like wow. famous voices and it just bombed hard because it was boring as shit mm. but the crudes <laughs> too was good so you you figure you had cage and ryan reynolds and a few others uh, i think peter dinklage was in All it right. so yeah Nice. Sure. Uh, what else Weekly is cage new? update. <laughs> yeah, cage update. USPS, how's everybody's uh, packages doing? I've gotten some stuff oh. lately. It's, it's still slow. Good. But they yeah. ate one of my things. I got I got a lot of stuff. Nothing's been eaten, and yep. thankfully, I didn't post a broken laserdisc mm-hmm. photo. <laughs> yeah, there have been a lot of you know cracked discs photos lately. Uh, like that's like the only photo that people ever post like Mm -hmm. they could have got 14 other discs before that and we find out about the cracked one and yes there's crappy sellers everywhere but like man i feel like the amount of discs that i get i can't tell you the last time i got a cracked one i mean i should go hang on knock on calyx here Yeah. yeah but like i feel like most of the sellers know what they're doing especially on like good discs so i i don't know yeah, I had one like small fracture in a James Bond disc from a uh, a box that I had gotten from Japan. I got a small hairline fracture on a kung fu movie that in a box I got from New Zealand, and I think that's about it. Oh, I think I bought a a disc from a flea market and I didn't check it, so that wasn't shipping. That was just me not paying attention <laughs> to realize it was cracked. Uh, but yeah, dudes are like. Oh, it looks like someone broke it over their knee. Some of these ones they're posting. Yeah, that one was in like 
a couple sheets of cardboard and like a paper bag or something. Yeah. Like, that might be one of the yeah. shout out to like the worst besides the one of the, the guy posted with the photo where they stuck the label on the disc. On the disc. <laughs> that was classic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't ah. believe that. That's brutal, man. You know, I, I, yeah. it makes me wonder like, have those people never used the U.S. Postal Service? Have they never gotten like a package to their house? Like, have yeah. they? They heard that you could chip a potato with a stamp on it, and they just thought, okay, here you go. (laughs) Well, you can. That doesn't mean it's going to do well. (laughs) And I don't always order from the same people on eBay. Like, every once in a while, I take a risk on some new sellers, but I don't don't have these crazy horror stories. I mean, I don't buy from anybody who takes a picture of their stuff on their bed. That's my rule. Yeah. (laughs) If you want to sell me something, don't take a picture of it on your your nasty, jizzy bed. I don't want anything (laughs) from that. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, but I feel like there's a lot of sellers you can tell it's the same seller because like they take it against like the same backdrop. Yeah, and, uh, I know there's the one with like the the Jack Skellington backdrop. And, yeah, man, Jack but, Skellington, I'm okay with. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, but like you see that you're like, oh, okay, I bought from this guy. I didn't even know it was him, but I, yeah. you you see it. And, <sighs> but yeah, if you got nasty yeah. sheets and a bunch of tissues next to the laser disc. I'm not buying them. Yeah, and if you're ever worried, yeah. like especially if it's like a you know ten to twenty dollar disc. See if they've sold any other ones before, or what they normally sell. Because yeah, maybe like, they got some feedback. Yeah, yeah. There's, I mean, feedback works. Yeah. And pay attention to the people that do a good job. You know, buy from them again. Yep. So happens. Yeah, there's um. I saw Bo some. Show. I saw some stuff about this movie called Star Wars. Apparently, people are trying to figure out what the best <laughs> on LD is. Man, um, we should really get into this. It's a rabbit hole. Like, yeah, maybe we should do a special edition. Technetus. For the special edition yeah. podcast. Yeah. Everyone's always no, like, what's the best version of Star Wars? I'm like, I don't know. There is none. I mean, the one special one collection. what the version best. are you yeah. looking to watch? Like, let, let, yeah. let's start it there. Do, yeah. You, yeah. do you want the 97, like, special yeah. edition? Do you just want the really, like, DNR'd, but still really good special or ultimate edition or whatever? Yeah. Or do you want them like all. most like yeah? Do you want like most like accurate to the theater theatrical? Most, most extras in the content I, of it. And I love it. Like the pe- some of the people asking. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. don't have any of the old pan and scan ones. I, I never even bought any of those. So. Like, the yeah. thing, that, the, it's like the people asking. They've never seen the original theatrical. Like most of them mm-hmm. are younger than us. Yeah, like so some people actually 20s. want the special edition. So yeah, it's there's like, different answers for everybody. Yeah, Chris Haller had the best answer, I think, when he said, "Whichever one I grab first. Like, yeah, it's true. Like, they all yeah. look good, other yeah. than the pan and scans. And honestly, like the shrinking ratio are not great. They're fine, but they're not mm-hmm. great. But like special collection, it does not have all the extra garbage, but it yep. looks like a decent '80s transfer. You know, so yeah, you, yeah. you get what you get. So, yeah, I, but I like them all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah have one of each yeah exactly yeah. You, you gotta you gotta catch them all i think yeah, yeah put them in your little ball yeah or uh, the white box maybe you just get the white box why not yeah. Yeah, actually if you want the white box you get the the zero ire stuff so if you have your uh, tv set up for american discs it's super dark so you can complain about it like you do when you watch uh phantom menace Plus you get the bonus like making of disc in that box set, which is cool. Yeah. Which has what digital audio on that, which no earlier one had. So yeah. Which is weird that they did the one that way, but who cares? I'm not complaining. Chris. Whatever you do, make sure you pay whatever you do, make sure you pay extra for quick shipping. Oh yeah. Get the airmail shipping. Do not get slow boat. Yeah. Oh, you don't wait three months? (laughs) I hear eBay media mail has sped up now that Christmas is over. I don't I don't know if like Christmas impacted the mail at all for anyone. I I think yeah. it did. Yeah, I uh, yeah I've been I've been a little slow with stuff. I got I I got my eval board which got held up, and then now I've got the controller box held up that I got from a Steve from LDF. So someday yeah. that'll get spit out at me. Nice, but it's better though. It's fat. It's a little bit faster. I had some vinyl pre-orders that I know shipped well before Christmas that came this week. Like just, yep. I mean, it happens like, mm-hmm. and everything came and it was fine. Like, so it's just patience. Like they, nothing got mangled. Like I didn't get anything. And I was like, man, that corner's really rough or anything. Mm-hmm. Just, they sat, they sat in, let's be honest, Pennsylvania. They can't count, yep. count mail. They can't count votes. Like, shh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, look at just, Brian with the controversial oh, material. No, I'm kidding. Like it's, 
<laughs> you count I was how only many going million to go votes. Pittsburgh and you a little paper. <laughs> That's fine. I, I, I don't want to be a vote counter. When I don't want to deal Pittsburgh with those machines. In, t- in California, you know you got a Pittsburgh. You're got a problem. <laughs> <laughs> is that right by Carson? I, I yeah. heard I heard so. I heard the Carson said he is uh, adjacent to Pittsburgh. Ah. Nice. So, like, do you go to Pittsburgh for all the shows if you yes. go to the Laserdisc College? Yes. yes. <laughs> Excellent. Shout out to the Turtles. <laughs> <laughs> we, we had some videos. Uh, instead of um, Leonard Nimoy talking to a rock, somebody actually posted a new uh, LD video. Apparently, uh, trading LDs is better than investing in stocks and things like that. And buying Con Air discs is where it's at. So. You heard it here first. Yeah, you buy all the regular letterbox con airs you want. Yeah, you're gonna get there. You should probably start with the speeds too, but the non AC3 one because that one doesn't show up as much. Yep. So now dudes that look like me and Seth are like stereotypical bad investment <laughs> guys, telling you to buy laser discs. <laughs> yeah. So that's cool. We're invading the popular culture through uh, stock ads. And TikTok, apparently, right? Yeah, TikTok. Heard about that. Yeah, I didn't the see it. Youth, Anybody the see youths, it? The youths are learning. Yeah, the youths. <laughs> to be fair, uh, I don't think that they're going to get a laser disc player still. They're probably just like, look at these nerds. <laughs> look at these old so. people. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Poor Wiley. Did you hear like what happened when his store went viral? Yeah, he had lines like around the corner. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, now it's going to cool. be people getting the LD players. <laughs> that's, that's not a bad thing. Yeah. So. Except cool. yeah, yeah. When you're trying to keep track of you know your stuff, you know people are probably busting in there, stealing things from poor old Wiley. Poor Wiley. But uh, yeah, what else is new? Uh, man caves. Do you have a man cave? Yeah, I mean, Ryan? I I suggest everyone does a video of their man cave bedroom, John right. Malkovich door, attic, one hundred percent like. And if you film it, film it the wrong side. So like, if you're filming it like this it's like taking the video wrong like do everything you can to just make me watch your video please and then post it publicly oh sure we had a special moment uh we gotta give uh, we should probably give a certificate or something uh someone posted their first post and it had a correct aspect ratio oh yeah and it was like a nicely nice setup in like a living room and yeah where did this guy come from but welcome like 100 percent i screenshotted it and sent it to you guys i'm like look it's their first post. Yep. Correct AR. And like it was like a legit HD TV with like nice cabling. It Good wasn't speakers like, set up. There wasn't yeah. dust on everything. Like it was just it was great. Like kudos. Yeah. Welcome to the crew. Golf club. Club. Yeah. Sam yeah. took the rest of the week off. Like, this is the first thing he's done since like Tuesday. Yeah. Oh. I know. I keep getting not only did Vinny post my AR video again, but then it, the original post that I made got bumped. So it seems yep. like every other hour I'm like responding to that still. Sean's but. back. Yes. Back. Welcome Thank back, Sean. Sean. Like, Welcome back, Sean. Him on the Sean's show. Nope. Yeah. Sean's on Twitch. We should be able to get him. Yeah. I tried. Uh, I hit him up on Twitch and he's like, yeah, I'm on Twitch. No. I, I was just we're, messing with him. We're going to get him on the show, damn it. I watched him fall through, the, like, glitch fall and die through the map on Fallout and I laughed because. <laughs> He's like, I just fell through the map and died. That's not fair. And I'm like, you dead. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Entertain me. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. So we got Sean back. So that means is he moderating again or? Yeah, he's actually. I've seen him uh, delete some comments and posts. Like he's actually on it. Like nice. It was he was back from the dead, which is good. So kudos to Sean. Take some uh, pressure off of you. Yeah, because I mean, you miss you, Sean. Yeah. 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 Sean, come on the show, please. We need yeah. we need you for the next anime episode. I know. Yeah, got entice him with that. I know we got Robin. We got to get Robin. I uh, yelled at us for not uh, getting throwing out an invite, and a couple other people were like, "Why yeah. did you call me on for the anime show?" <laughs> it's, it's, I mean, we weren't sure like what was going to happen, so that's good that like we have interest. You know, we it's hard yep. to gauge. Yeah, you know. it's a weird thing. Some people don't want to hear anything about anime, like Finny. Yeah, <laughs> yep. And some people are psyched about it, but. Uh, what else? Anything happen to you guys or anything on the forums? No. Well, uh, since this is the vinyl vinyl centric episode, it's the Ooh. last week to pick up uh, Minus Light on uh, on vinyl. My uh, my Ooh. band. If you're interested in that. What's the Sweet. deadline? What's the last day? Uh, the fifteenth. Okay, so we got a little Sweet. bit of time. Yeah, I'll put the link up again. 
Bing. Just lost a little, yep. lost a little bit. I got my pre-order in. Yeah. I got my pre-order in, my too. Pre-order in. Yep. I'm excited I, for it. I am i can't wait to just, like, literally, like, hold that and, like... Now you need to get the laser disc pressed. <sighs> for the record, I put <laughs> I put in a five dollar tip for the artist, but it oh. didn't it didn't like show up in my. <laughs> it's like, do you want to tip the artist? I'm like, hell yeah! And then it just showed up with like the money for the album, like out of my PayPal. So uh, maybe Aww. the yeah. So the label so, got tipped. Yeah, I think yeah they kept it. Man, <laughs> I don't know. I'm letting them know. <laughs> yeah. So in case you got ripped off, you know, <laughs> I ponied you. up on my end. <laughs> And if you want, you could like, you know, turn down the music on the LD and, you know, spin that record and it could be the soundtrack. You know what? I'll come up with what it it matches up to because it's a it's a really like it I'm I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of obscure music. It's a little it's a little this, a little that, little uh avant-garde vibes to it. So how would it match with celebrity guy to wine? It probably could go really well with celebrity (laughs) wine. about like cross yep. mission awesome. i think cross mission you know what i want to know what that sounds like together oh my god <laughs> that that's the new incredible. challenge syncing it up and then Sync it recording up. it it's yeah. either minus it light or dark side right yeah <laughs> yeah sweet yes totally Blow out of the water yes. yeah looking forward to getting a copy <sighs> i'm i'm stoked on it that's glad cool we're- glad we're we're sharing is it colored them. vinyl for the for the hipsters it's not, or it's not oh. colored vinyl but the uh the um the artwork is hashtag black vinyl matters yeah <laughs> i like black vinyl man it's classic it and you can see the dirt on it so you can clean it i know i mean it's That's it's more like the 70s right. vibe too yeah. you know what i mean like i feel yeah. like it's gonna look more like authentically what i would look back and be like you know this is still really cool like yeah Plus, I like the you, cover art. That's cool. Maybe you can get it like lathe cut into a laser I know, disc. That's the absolute dream for real. Mm. Like I looked into that and it's, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm tempted to at least make one. <laughs> so, yeah. Who's it? Sean's got some like, stuff like that, right? Yeah. Some, yeah. Some guy who does that. Yeah. yeah. You that's should true. get that like see-through laser disc that you got that was rotted like all the way yes. through. Get that one cut. So then you have oh, the clear disc. Yes. Yeah. yes. <laughs> one of one. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> freaking fraternity vacation like here we come <laughs> do it yes that's so cool yeah, oh my god good. yeah what else has been going on not much on my end yeah peter's on a laser discs for now yeah he is he's moving into uh <laughs> htpc land so Gosh, he's selling like, a, a bunch of his muse stuff i saw I yep that's all gone yep but you know I can't He'll be it. back when he's yep. done chasing this dragon. Yeah, we'll drag him back in oh, yeah. one way or the other. Six months. But yeah, he's basically like running the system that, that pretty much like what renders the video in the PC, like captures it and renders it real time and spits it back out. Nope. Is that what it does? Like mm-hmm. yeah. noise reduction, upscaling, et cetera, yeah. et cetera. Yeah. There you so. go. That's so cool. when, if that doomsday duplicator thing ends up becoming a thing, maybe he can combine powers and do it that way i don't know i don't know how that stuff works bill knows about the doomsday du- duplicator yeah or you can just go raw no subs yeah right raw in dog it yeah <laughs> raw dog but yeah so we'll get peter back uh who else any other yeah i can't think of anything no like again like there's it's been like drama free for a while now like there's yeah, no... everyone took the christmas break yeah, what happened to the, the CRT oh, yeah. wars? There's no more CRT wars. Um, I was hoping so. <laughs> Not anymore. No, there's no, you know, aspect ratio wars are pretty calm now. Um, I mean, it's it's every post, there's still like six AR police, but yeah, yeah sure, they're always <laughs> shutting stuff they're down. Self, they're but... self badged, they're, they're yeah. not even actually on the force. They just, <laughs> yep, I know, just mercenaries yes curtis sliwa and his guardian aspect ratio angels <laughs> with the, the red beret <laughs> shutting it down yeah no everyone's been pretty well behaved i think they know ryan's a mod now yeah they do yeah it's, it's just cracking skulls here yeah He's, even in the no upside work. down there's nothing weird going on in there yeah it's yeah. a shame but yeah Look into the Star Wars thing. Get a copy. Yes. Yeah, I but hear Star creates- Wars is a good movie, right? Yeah. What were you saying, Someone, someone create some drama. Yeah. I know. Give us something to talk about. <laughs> There's no dead people on boats. Uh, no. 
No, it was no. Adriana dropped a, good, a great uh, Cummings reference. Who was it? It, it was, was Sean. That yeah, was Sean. it. He was, was coming Sean. back, and she's like, "We got to hear about the boat." Yeah. <laughs> that was like too soon. <laughs> too soon. Never too soon. <laughs> Yeah, that's the one like laser disc story you can tell people and it's not really laser disc i mean it is but it isn't and they're just like yeah. what what <laughs> like yep this actually happened someday we need to do like a restage the opening of the fog with like john houseman on the beach and and do like a refilming of that telling <laughs> the laser disc boat story and yes it'll be a wolf pack special i will oh my gosh it's the wolf pack special <laughs> fire by the fireside with you opening the book <laughs> Yeah, exactly. And it's that story. <laughs> <laughs> the spooky music. <laughs> oh, that'd be great. Oh yeah. God. So I'm not going to spoil it here. Yeah. Yeah. Go digging through the LDF. <laughs> Search for boat accident. For boat accident. <laughs> Kim Cummings, David Cummings. Yeah. What was his name? Nathan something. Nathan like Smith. Something yeah. Nathan Smith. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I still, like the stuff he sent was nice too, though. Yeah. I, I, oh, I got yeah, Song of right. the South from him. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I got a, some minty stuff from that dude, and uh, yeah, yeah, just don't, little don't little know. monsters fell off the boat with the dad. Ah, uh, uh, somewhere at the bottom of the, bottom the Gulf of, of Mexico, Gulf of Mexico, <laughs> Caribbean Sea, who knows? <laughs> the Gulf of Ohio. Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be crazy if you pop if pop back up somehow. Oh, I know. I'm surprised yeah. it it hasn't popped up with a yeah, new name. Yeah. But like, if they were coming from Ohio at all, I think everyone would be like, "Prove it, dude!" I feel like yeah. Moiki is the one who like just broke that whole thing wide open. He did. He like, he, like did the investigation. Put, put, oh yeah, he and Peter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he like came to oh, Peter yeah. and was like, "I think I got it, man." <laughs> and then they they figured out he was right. Yeah, he did the investigating. It's Moiki Pi. <laughs> yeah. Good times. Yeah. That was the classic days in the LDF, man. Someone needs to know about these these uh, ancient tales. Yes. Yeah. The I could find my like chat with uh, David Cummings. I used to be able to find it when I searched like the chat record because I was like, yep. he wanted me to pay friends and family, and I'm like, how about I just give you an extra like five dollars for fees? It's like, oh okay. Like <laughs> that was the best five dollars I could have spent. <laughs> I still have the Super Bowl meltdown Absolutely. somewhere. I should uh, make a post of that somewhere because right, I have screen capped everything. It was like some guy from Seattle. I think I forgot what year it yeah. was, but he was freaking out. And like every single post was just him posting like Super Bowl memes. And like Andy Summers was still an LDF. And he's like, listen, mate, like relax with the Super Bowl stuff. And Peter Hedeland was in there and a couple other dudes. And uh, it turned into a complete crazy ass fight and uh that guy got booted obviously what about did we talk about was it reason enough or did we talk about the guy who was just like going crazy in the comment section of that that recent post where the guy oh no we didn't even mention that (laughs) he like had like thought bombs in a row yeah 50 of them on the how many women are actually in the group yeah Yeah, i forgot about that so oh yeah we were wrong there is drama (laughs) I mean, it was like a one-person drama. It was. <laughs> it was so weird. It's like you know, there. It's obviously a male-dominated, you know, collector group, and uh, yeah. there are women in there, though. I, I think that might have blown his mind, though, that there were like <laughs> yeah. there was like that like self-realization moment. Yeah. Eight, Eighteen comments in a row. It was great. It was just like the ladies aren't into LDs; they're into this, and you know, they just like started getting a little real. sad. Like, he got real on like nerd. <laughs> they don't like nerds. They like something yeah. else, really ultra specific. That like, why do you know that, or is that even true? Like, yeah, there's definitely <laughs> some history there. Yeah, yeah. Like it was, it was one step away from a breakdown. Was it Hayden? <laughs> that was like someone was trying to like, what? Hey, hey, pump the brakes. <laughs> It's probably Aiden, yeah. One guy, yeah, one guy said, really tried. What? And he's like, yeah, pump, slow your roll there. <laughs> and the other, you know, the other nice women of the group were like, hey, I'm here. Yeah. You know, I exist. All, all two of them. No. Yeah. yeah, we had a few representatives. You know, I would say there's probably like around 20. Because the, I mean. I see a lot joining. Yeah. yeah. And I, I mean, I don't know if they're selling or what, but I see yeah, them joining. So- 
they some just, Jordan say this is my dad's or whoever is in or you my know. museum. Yeah. <laughs> It's still for sale, apparently. It's still going. That museum is never going to end. Yeah. There's always yeah. another stack. <laughs> I know Spencer's been getting a lot of stuff from them. So, yep. I, I mean, they have in. like old person discs for Spencer. So, yeah, sealed ones sometimes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they didn't even watch them when they bought them the first time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's good stuff. Uh, yeah, a lot of classics end up still being sealed. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a very specific market, and it is. yeah. And if they didn't watch them before they died, then Spencer's got a chance. Yeah. I just like to get that uh, new old stock cue, the Wing Serpent. So that was pretty. I know, yeah, that's, that, that was, was sweet. Nice. Yeah, that wasn't even from There's Vinny. Some more on there. Yeah, I gotta get a few more. Yeah, because uh, there's uh, some good like hammer stuff, I think, in there, and yeah. Yeah, like like cheap though like five ten dollars yeah like. yeah Maybe you like was five bucks off. and five dollar shipping so yeah, yep. yeah. Yep. thanks for the heads up <laughs> that guy had no man that's the same seller that had like uh he like i don't i don't know he ran into like full boxes but he had evil dead yeah that's the same guy that had evil dead for like 20 bucks he must have like knocked off Vinny's uh storage dude, shed or dude. something <laughs> something yeah he's definitely got boxes he is like four or five different discs and he's got uh like probably 20 of each i'm assuming like a box or whatever yeah that's mm-hmm. cool though yeah it was like perfect so and, and it made its way through the uh the usps fine no no corner damages or anything like that so does he combine shipping do you know i hope he does because i want to grab a couple things at once yeah uh so yeah ask him for me <laughs> yeah it doesn't look like it oh it doesn't uh yeah might just Damn. have to do it anyways. I mean, five dollars for a. It's spelled wrong. Cue the wing med serpent. Yes, I saw why. that. So W I N G M E D. He's got over ten of them. So I I don't feel bad saying that. Like yeah, there's only it. one I think thing. I think it's a hammer one that he has low numbers on. Everything else he's got a decent amount. So um, I'm gonna grab prom night for sure. I just grabbed the witches, which is the last one. So oh yeah, look at one. you. I've got well, that in that- VHS. So All I'm right. Good. That was like one of the last ones I I need. I don't know how many hammers I yep. need now, but almost hammer and elite complete and run. Don't hurt them. Chipping away at all of them. Yeah. You want but my I, MC Hammer discs? I got a few. Uh, no. You sure? No. Are you too legit to quit? He quit yes. before he was legit. <laughs> yep. I got the Adams Family Groove or whatever one too. I I you also borrow sold it. that. What? One. That one's actually cheap to find if you're ever looking. It's like it's like the music video and maybe a couple more hammer things and that's it. It's like single sided. And- that one is amazing because it's got the making of stuff on it, and it's like he is like so not only like just not into horror, he's like terrified of anything remotely spooky. It's all like evil, creepy, occult, like devil stuff, and it's like they had to keep kind of selling certain aspects of the video to him because he's like severed heads floating around. He's like, no way, man. <laughs> and yeah. yeah you've seen adam's family it's really not heavy stuff it's, no. it's all pretty lighthearted. but uh he was completely freaked out by it and oh my God. they had to keep kind of pitching it like hey no it's gonna be fun man <laughs> yeah definitely an odd one but yeah too legit to quit man that's got the full length video with james belushi in it and uh yeah you got to get that james brown <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to sell it here, but it's not working. Peter sent me a player, and those were like stacked on top of the player. So, and, material. Yeah. yep. And he knows if you get rid of them. So he's like, no, those were gifts. You have to keep those forever. <laughs> you can re gift, though. It's like a secret Santa. Yeah, I, I do with some stuff, but he's, he finds out if you re gift things. Yeah. He's got like a re gift sense. He's a GPS tracker. Yeah, I mean, he that, does, yeah. that sweet, uh, <laughs> what is it? The Chippendales disc has been to like 10 people now. Well, yeah. I, I, never, don't know. I never left my house. So <laughs> <laughs> I kept the Jane Fonda workout, though. That thing is, that's a piece of history. Oh, my God. I mean, that's actually a really good workout. Too. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Why not keep it? But I, yeah, that's up I there. I don't know what Donald did with the uh, Chippendales. Did he pass that on already? Did Moyer anyway. get it? I think Moyer got maybe them. yeah like it 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 kept going. I love it. Oh, we should have actually awesome. did like a library like stamp kind shark? of thing in there. Everybody could sign when they get it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Throw oh the little God. card back in there. Oh see how many God. people end up. How long it, up. it would 
take to go to like 30 people via yeah. media mail yeah, yeah. <laughs> eventually it comes back to trevor or something yeah, yeah it course. eventually will get broken and there'll be a post about it so we'll be really angry <laughs> I can't believe that they broke this disc that I was never going to watch. <laughs> the Chippendales. <laughs> it's the Farley version. Yeah. Oh my God. I love it so much. I have that one. Good oh, stuff. So good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, Lacage is the one I gave up. That was it. Well, I have that. Yeah, I have that as well. Yeah. I, <laughs> I shouldn't have said anything. It might <laughs> end up in the stack. <laughs> I like it. We lost Altman. We just totally scared him off. He- Yep. He didn't like the Chippendales. He was probably sad that he <laughs> lost his Chippendales. So he's going to make sure his is still it's like in his vault. No, it it, it definitely wasn't because it made its way back. It kept going. <laughs> What's he got as back there? Is, is that a is that a sword record? I see a Slayer poster, some Godzilla figures. Those are, are really cool. Yeah, those are badass. Super we're, cool. yeah. we're just gonna narrate his man cave. Oh, sorry. Check, checking out your background. Is that what? What records are there? Is that like a sword record or something in the corner there? On the like the, on the Calax over by the speaker there. So that's the Eternal Champion. Oh, Eternal Champion. It's got like a swordish kind of vibe from the side. Yeah, it, is that, it does. Is that yeah. Samhain Initium next to it? Yes. Or as the kids would say, Sam Hain. <laughs> yep, you got it. Nice. And then there's a carcass 10 inch above that, if you can see that. Oh, no. The new one that just came out. That's the new one? Yeah. Nice. Oh. I just have that yep. on CD. I got to get that on vinyl. Pretty cool. Yeah, man. Excellent. Yep. Pre orders. Pre orders. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Excellent. I was going Thanks for through the vinyl tour. Looking for soundtracks, and mm-hmm. like I have a an incoming stack. And I'm like, I don't think anything I'm looking for is in here, but I paged through and I'm like, I've got this sweet, like, metal record that i still have no idea what it is but i bought it because the cover was badass did like, get oh, it I, need to, I need to listen to this now oh no i just found it tonight I don't what is know it do you know oh. so, i don't remember i think i took a photo of it and posted it in chat one time but god knows when that was yeah send a picture wow. i'll post yeah. it on right now uh, i'll find it yes eternal champion all right yeah i know that name so i got i'll have to, uh, I'll have to jam that i'll see if i got it's a good. it's like it's like power metal but it's good all right it's yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, sweet. Yeah, it almost looks like it'd be more like Doomy or something from the the or like a Doom yeah, Power thing, but huh, it's power, huh? Mm-hmm. I can roll with that. Oh. Yeah, I'm not picky with my metal as long as it's metal. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What else? I got some. Uh, the, I have, I don't have the Cowboy Bebop soundtrack that just came out, um, oh. but I don't have that cool. yet. Do you have any onion sleeves? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't talk about onion sleeves. I, I was looking and I saw. I forgot about that one. I, I've never heard of that one. <laughs> was... Plus, there was the other post about how they, like, someone thought mice were eating them. Yeah. But apparently, they just kind of deteriorate. Yep. If they fray. if they don't get stored in the best conditions in terms of, I think, heat, mm-hmm. they tend to fray faster. Usually, the discs are fine. Like, they're not, like, rotted inside. Just the plastic breaks down. So, yeah. But yeah, it's funny. I've had videos before where kind of commenters get a little twitchy about saying <laughs> elephant condoms. Like it's, like, I think everybody just calls them that. They have no, since the dawn of time. Thirty comments later, and twenty five were elephant condoms. <laughs> yeah, and there's like you know, always someone that's just kind of like, well, that's kind of vulgar. I'm like, I, I didn't name them that. That's what. The, <laughs> it's just people have been calling them since the dawn of time. Literally, that's what they are. That's what they are. Until I I heard the term onion sleeves, and I was like, yeah onion sleeves yeah. that's very classy yeah that's like a classy i mean and you know what i mean you can kind of like it does kind of it does feel have like, that I skin mean, yeah I, what a, it's like what a concept you i'm know? still calling them elephant condoms but i like it yeah they're just I like agree. elephant onion sleeves yeah like- <laughs> i mean you know for real if that was an elephant condom that that elephant's hung pretty weird <laughs> i so. believe there's there's a term for that yeah, <laughs> uh, I'll I can Google that. I can tell you that for sure, as of sometime before Christmas, Chippendales made it to Mike Moyer. So oh Mike Moyer's yeah. got it. All right, it's continuing yeah. to move. I'm sure. I right, think now, it's staying there. Let's be serious. I gotta find <laughs> out who's got Lacage. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to see. I was uh, trying to see if I could find that record. No idea. I'll, I'll no. find it. All right. Yeah, if it's something good, send it to us. I mean, I don't know if it's good. It just looks cool. <laughs> with metal records sometimes you... <laughs> um. <laughs> that too 
but with with metal records sometimes you buy them because the art looks so badass you're like i gotta give this a shot it may be awful but they they go out of the way to get like badass covers like yeah frank frazetta style paintings and stuff like that yeah yeah, like George Struzan stuff. Yeah, yep. Like, dude, I feel like what was the one the last um disc that you showed Ryan with the the Ultimate Bertarian? That looked very metal. That was a metal cover. Yeah, because it was drawn. Yeah, the cross mission, yeah. right? Yeah. Yep. 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 That is like literally the one. That could be a Manowar record. <laughs> uh, I love <laughs> so some pelts on them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Loudest band ever recorded, right? Is this still they still the record? Yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe, yeah. I saw them once in '88, I think. Oh my and god! Wow. With nuclear assault and Malaya oh rage what? and wargasm, and oh. uh, they were loud. <laughs> That's awesome. Dude, I saw nuclear assault two years ago. Oh, that was good. Never nice. seen Man of War though. Yeah, it was it was loud, and the drum riser. It was like in a club, but the drums were still like impossibly high. I'm like, how the hell did they fit that drum riser in here? And like it was like a stadium show in a like a small ballroom theater kind of situation. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. Love that. Excellent. Yeah, shout out to 1988. Yeah, for real. <laughs> good, good memories. Good year. <laughs> All right, so I've got the album finally. I figured. Oh, it what out. was it? Oh, okay. Lady Killer. Ooh. No yeah. idea. It's a chick with a panther, like oh, I'm into hand drawn. So like, yeah, we'll we'll put it up over. Yeah, I don't I don't <laughs> yeah. have that. And it it's got a bunch of like '80s bros on the back. Like, yeah, they, nice. they don't look that metal on the back, but <laughs> the, the cover does. That's all that really matters. Oh, I just watched that video. It's it's not on Laserdisc, but there's a there's an old video from the '80s, from like '85 or '86, with this like metal band from Maine. And this like kid getting interviewed with his mom in the room, like about like the metal yes. life and stuff. Yes, I saw that. And the the filmmaker just revisited what? with him yes. a couple yes, weeks I ago. Saw that. It was amazing. It was incredible. And he's talking they about his really life. Metal. Yeah, they were. Yeah, metal. they were into it. Yeah. And they yeah they were pretty. They were like they played like some bingo hall or something. And it was like grandmas and stuff in the audience mixed in. And, and they got straight up freaking like the full spikes. Like, yeah. Crashing. It was great, but yeah, the the interview with him was pretty pretty fascinating because yeah, he's he's an older guy now. (sighs) Yeah, live music would be nice. I know. Maybe are you are y'all playing at all? Y'all playing? Probably not, right? No, we're still. uh, In fact, we we just had another like uh, teams meeting the other night, just uh, getting the final track like order down and all that stuff. We've been dragging our heels on releasing the album because we're like, well, if we wait a little bit longer, maybe we can promote it. Yeah. Um, but yeah we're, yeah, we're we're pretty much ready to to release it now. But um, yeah, we haven't gotten together in a room yet to jam. Yeah. You guys should just do a live stream it's, on it's Facebook or something. Yeah. yeah. Post a Venmo link and share it out to everyone. Yeah. Be like, we can't play live, but yep. this is for you guys. Yeah. Cough it up. <laughs> so, so like February, like the end of February, is like a lot. I went to a dive bar mm-hmm. locally, and because we don't get anything down here, mm-hmm. like not like y'all get. But anyway, like it's almost been a year since so I've been to a show. I'm like, ah. My last show was Slayer and Slayer and Primus and uh, Ministry. So cool, though. Right. Yeah, my last was a show was yep. Halloween. Yeah, mine was outdoors. This hollow, this oh place. yeah, you went to the oh, drive-in wow. show, right? I went to the drive-in show. Yeah, cool. yeah, that was cool. I think the we band were was to do like a podcast that night, but some jerk was going to a concert. Oh yeah, that's totally why we moved it to. <laughs> I didn't mean to out you. No, it's fine. Whatever. <laughs> it's in the past. Deal with it. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I don't, I don't blame you. No. Yeah, no. It, it was crazy because the band got like their one vehicle broken into and all their like half of their merch and all their gear got stolen and like oh it was God. a one-off show oh, no. but they, they still they still were good but like they had to like really like cobble together gear that morning mm. just madness mm. welcome yeah. to chicago Great to hear that yeah i always feel bad for those bands like sometimes they'll just like park a bus and go and some get some food somewhere and all their stuff's gone by the time they get out yeah. Yeah, and i mean it, it wasn't like a normal tour where they have like their normal setup or anything yep. the one guy just had driven up from florida with like the band gear in the normal trailer but like they just stopped somewhere and or i think it might have been even at the hotel or something like just totally random Man, Sucks. when I played CBGB, we took a van and we covered all the windows with comics from like the the newspaper, and then we had 
my uh, my drummer's uh, brother sitting in the van with a gun the entire night. <laughs> so, yep. <laughs> he just volunteered to be Smart. van security. Yep. <laughs> Amazing. <It's> crazy. <laughs> and it worked out. <laughs> Uh, good time. Should we do uh, final thoughts and what's coming up and all that? Yep. All right, cool. Uh, what's spinning? I th- I'm just going to go back into more of this uh, sweet ass Gundam box set. So I got many more discs to go and uh, I got to get into the second second box and tear through it. Can't, this thing is freaking amazing looking. So okay. did you get a Gundam box set recently, Sam? You know, you know what I got the other day? I got this Gundam box set. It's pretty cool. Whoa, it was slow sealed. Down. It was. Yeah, it was sick. Like yeah. some robots. Yeah. I, each box had its own like thick ass booklet too, and uh, oh, man. It had like sh- inserts. And inserts. It was inserts for days. I gotta, I gotta make a video with all that stuff because I love it. Yeah, so much fun. I can't wait to watch that. And I know. I'm gonna go see Men at Work because they're touring. <laughs> <laughs> Where are they from again? Uh, they're from um... Land Down Under. Or... Yes, yes, yeah. that's it. Oh, okay. Yeah, they. Uh, you should have a Vegemite sandwich and go see them. Their new album, Cargo, is really, uh, really blowing up. You should pick it up. And uh, it's okay. old drums, too. Dropping into the USA. Yeah, it's good stuff. Their first record still. Is available. that Air Mail or is it uh, Slow Boat from Australia? You know, I think this is Slow Boat. Yeah. Or it's got, it's got Parachute. No, I was wrong. Air Mail. <laughs> it only took almost 40 years to get here, right? Yeah. <laughs> These guys are going somewhere. They're heating up. What are you going to watch, Brian? Uh, I I have to watch this. Thing. Of course. There's yeah, a metal that's album. A metal album. Yeah, yeah. This might be a metal album. It, it might really be an action that's, film. That's a, that's or. Yep. Yes, yeah, Sodom. Yeah, like, <laughs> yep. How about you, Maxine? Well, besides the celebrity wine, because that's on deck here, this is what I had picked. Whoa! Is that the '90s one? That looks newer than this is a this is a more late release. Uh, yeah, you know, it's like it's '92, but it's like of the workouts. I think this is one of the last workout ones. That's a THX release or something. Yeah. <laughs> is that widescreen? It's, uh, you know what? I don't. That'd be amazing. That would be amazing if it was. But this is. I mean, this looks like really good. You know, it's step aerobics was really huge. Like, mm-hmm. uh, there's like a share step aerobics one, which I have. Yeah. Um, but this is like, you know, you can find these step things at like yard sales or literally at almost anywhere at Alan Craigslist at this point. Because like every yeah. every mother had these. Like, like I, I was surprised at how many Jane Fonda discs there were because when I got that one in the lot, I was like, Well, let's see what else there is. I'm like, oh snap. What? I know. There's now a pile you need of them. Thirty-five more. Yeah, I need to and that's screw the, the signature US collection. Ones. I need to get Fonda I need complete. To Jane Fonda complete. Yeah, I'm actually not Jane Fonda complete, guys, but I'm close. Yeah, you share fitness there. complete, or is that just me? I'm not share fitness complete. I'm obsessed. Right, it is. I need the second one. I have. I have the step one. You heard her. She needs the new, second I one. I have the new attitude one. I need the next one. When you get both of them in a collection, I'm you just Cindy keep Crawford <laughs> workout complete though. How many are those? Are there those two? Okay. <laughs> but the 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 first one is the better one because the actual and the U.S. copy. Um, the, well, the reason why I don't like the second one is it just like clearly they like gave her some weird restrictions, and then the lineup of the workouts like half of the first workout ends up on side B, which is hmm. really annoying. Yeah, this, like, if you're following of, like, along, workout. <laughs> yeah, and like the first workout. The, the whole total thing is on side one and then side two has the second workout. And so it like mm. lines up really well. Like you actually finish the workout with the finish of the disc. So I'm hoping yeah. some of these other ones are more like that. Mm. The other one that's actually really good is Raquel Welch did a yoga one. It's mm. pretty intense yoga, but like it actually was like, it's a good, it's a good workout. Mm. T- nice. Tune in in a few weeks when Maxine does three hours of workout yeah. video reviews. Straight up, I'm gonna have a Twitch channel, guys. Just straight yeah. up, just workouts in the morning. Long. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna do the Tai Chi one. That'll be my thing. Right? Oh, it's a little yeah. slower down. Tai yeah. Chi. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll do that on my Twitch stream. <laughs> yes. I like oh it. God, it's Patreon, right? It yeah. Patreon? What are you watching, Chris? Dude, I don't know about you guys, man, but I'm probably going to pull a marathon tonight and watch all four uh, Josh Kirby Time Warriors. Yes. 
Damn. Wow. Bold yeah, plans. Man. I would be amazed if you what? got through all four of them in one night. <laughs> <laughs> really? I, I think it could be done. They're, Listen, they're a little I'm rough. I think wakes up in the middle of the night. Mm. So I'll be up. That's true. Yeah, yeah but, now you're just using like baby sleep schedule as like a excuse to watch movies. Yeah. Why sleep? Why not, right? Yeah. I mean, the baby's going to wake up. Who needs to sleep? Yeah. yeah. Just keep watching <laughs> movies, man. Yeah. <laughs> Don't need it. Don't need to sleep. Just, you know, time warriors. I like it. I love it. And there's no swearing or anything. So, like, baby no, can't it's... get, you know, any bad introduction. Yeah. Just quality wait, filmmaking wait, wait, from wait, Charles wait. Band. Hmm? Yeah. yeah. Charles Band makes all the great children's programming. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. It's All like right. Cool. Really good, like cable made for TV. You know what I mean? Mm. It, it's it. Yeah. So it's it's okay. <laughs> I like it. Okay. <laughs> Moonbeam. It's okay. That's a poster quote. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ellipsis. It's okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Chris Allman, Wolfpack. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Good choices. I uh, look forward to hearing uh, re- reports back, especially on the wine video. When I literally, like, I can't, I can't wait. I can't wait for it. It's Man, this so is an early, early episode for us. I feel like we owe the kids like another forty minutes of like bonus material. Like, Vinny's gonna be actually really proud though. <laughs> I know the one night he's not here, <laughs> he might he actually like, watch yeah. part of the podcast. This yeah, <laughs> he, he loves complaining about the the length of it. So he does. He does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> insert length joke here oh cool God. all right oh, i guess we'll like we'll two and a half hours that's pretty good right yeah, that's know, a right. solid show this has right. been like we just boom 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 yeah. i know we were so, on a mission i guess we should have done we a top 10 i know i kind of felt like we could have yeah. i think we'll be back to this topic again. Right. Dude, I, I, could. Think, I mean listen yeah. i can pull out some more if we want to are we do we want to do this <laughs> I, I don't have anything like, ready like, into the front yeah <laughs> We'll just yeah. do it again because I think uh, everybody's going to want to jump in. Like yeah, I know there's sure. Sam's a few pulling others. stuff out. Sam's pulling stuff I know, out. I got. I got. I, I had a couple also ran. So I got Thief. Yeah, nice. didn't make the cut. What is that? It's uh, a oh sick movie. James Con. He's like the most badass badass. He's a, a jewel thief. And if you haven't seen it, check it out. It's the yeah. dude. James Con is a badass. Yeah, and he's. It's like basically this, like this dude. He's he's like he's kind of like the transporter like he doesn't answer to anybody he doesn't like work for any one boss he's just like a mercenary and he doesn't like complications and like the guy he kind of works for a lot gets taken out and like the new boss rolls in and is like trying to strong arm him it's like you can't you can't strong arm this dude yeah exactly oh that's the good version of that too there's two and that's yeah and it's awesome and the, the soundtrack by tangerine dream is like really really cool stuff and that's it's got a great that, cover too that's a cool yeah, cover oh yeah it's got his goggles there with all the sparks going and the sick thing is is michael mann so uh in typical michael mann fashion he taught james Kahn to be a legit uh jewel robber uh so there's the end of the movie like or one of this big major scenes where he's breaking into this vault and it's a real vault james Kahn's doing it for real using the techniques that he should be using uh, so it's awesome excellent yeah, that was my also. I need to check that one out. <clears throat> and the other one that didn't make the cut was uh, Tank Girl. Uh, I showed Tank, earlier. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah that was That's it. cool. And, She's and one of my cuts. I, I forgot. Oh. I don't oh, have. Oh. I don't have this on Laserdisc. Ooh, whoa, Otherwise, that would have been in there. <laughs> Pan and skin lasers. Yeah, man, Slayer, Danzig. Look at that Danzig shirt. Roy Orbison, LL Cool J, going back to Cali. Yeah, buddy. I love Less Than Zero. It's a crazy movie. Yeah. So, and oh, the Bangles, Hazy Shade of Winter. That's, oh. I know. It's a great soundtrack. Yeah, it is. If I, I had the LD. Zero, I'm putting that in your stack. <laughs> Need it. And then it'll be on my uh, top five next time we do one. Yes. Yeah. What's in your little S? You got a little over overflow, Max. I had I had Halloween too. Yeah. yeah. I was the only one with Carpenter. Yeah. yeah. And then I had um, Christine also. I almost pulled that one out too. Yeah. Like one. this one's in shrink. This is actually really nice. But this one, I mean, I just yeah. wanted to go with ones that had some more like just like more actual songs in them. 
That's box. pretty cool. That like matches the uh, looks like the Japanese box a little bit. The yeah. Night Living Dead one. I know. I like the green. Yeah, that's pretty sick. It has one that's underlined on here, which I always like when people like leave little like moments, like they underline something or like. Mm. I feel like that happens more in records than like laser. Does someone like will put a little sheet of paper in there, like with little secret yeah. notes of like timestamps or things, but they won't write on the cover. Yeah, know? yeah. <laughs> But like records they're like mm, i'm gonna write around on this like <laughs> and that's like all like weird like you know library music and stuff they used on that right does it have like any talking yeah, from the movie I, know, or? Right? Like, I, I mean it's let me see what it says here oh if i can pick it up Hands. okay yeah because i don't have that um main title Dude, I need um, at the gravesite hmm. refuge hmm. farmhouse first approach yeah i mean it just kind of looks kind of Electronic sound effects on Ooh. some of it. I'll see if I can get a little moment there. Yeah, but it looks kind of cool. It's pretty loaded. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine me. <laughs> yeah, I give it to Altman. <laughs> <laughs> I just might. Nope. I like it. Don't use a ball, a mall up because we'll do this again for sure. Like yes. I, I, I'm looking at it. I, I know Altman's already requested the Armageddon soundtrack, so. Yeah. I know. No, I feel like we could do. We really could do CDs don't. or cassettes or something like. Yeah, that. I mean, More formats. Ninety CDs had all the cool metal jams, man. All those movie soundtracks. So I got some good stuff. Yeah, I, I've got them on vinyl now. Like they've all been repressed. Like yeah, but who's got forty dollars to buy that stuff? And also, CDs go inside the laser disc player. They do. <laughs> good point, <Sure>. Max. <laughs> I mean, they made freaking M three hundred ones. Okay, yeah. That's Six CDs to go in the laser disc player. Man, That's we really dropped the ball with this hear. hipster vinyl thing. Yeah, we yes. should have gone CDs. It's good Heaven CD forbid we have, you know, vintage content. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all good. I love it. Cool. Yeah, we'll we'll come and bring it back. But I mean, this got us closer to you know two and a half hours proper. So, a little bonus batter for the kids. Well, what do you got there? It's the uh, one of the new Vinegar Syndrome releases, Martial mm-hmm. Law, it's so with. Sick. Cynthia Rothrock and Rock Jen. Of course. So nice. Nice. I, it's probably going to sell out at some point. Any sweet yet. bonus features on there? I haven't even watched it yet. It's still sealed. It's in wow. my queue. But. Nice. That's Chad McQueen, right? Yep. Oh, yeah. It's a good one. I finally got my first vinegar syndrome. Yeah. Song. What do you get? Christmas Evil. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yes. Nice. Oh, yeah. We had that thread about it. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Thank like, you, Ryan. Ryan's recommendations are just so in point tonight. Well, that was, was me starting that one. Yeah, you started it, and I'm like, well, wait. Because you wanted the DVD, and we're like, wait. Ryan's like, oh, this link. I don't yeah, know it's, got, it. it's got the Blu-ray with it, because it's Vinegar Syndrome. They don't do that anymore, though. I'll probably get it. Yeah. yeah that's a great release, too, man. You oh. see the, like, the, I don't know, it's good. Yeah, and it's got the grain and everything, like, the Seriously, like they're the best boutique label. My first vinegar syndrome was, of course, Liquid Sky. Yes. yes. God, I, I don't love remember that what my so first much. was. Yeah. I love it. I think it I so just much. bought some horror movies on a sale and was like hooked, and then like yeah. Now I subscribed, and my wife asked me how much it cost. <laughs> it's for the whole year, though, so it's yeah, not as bad. We think need, of the we, savings, baby. We need to divide it by eleven <laughs> months of like four to five Blu-rays. Four to five. And yeah. like they're all just fantastic. You get in that situation, just put on uh, the first side of Led Zeppelin four, and then everything just yeah smooths out. Yeah, up good soundtrack. No by the fights. way, yeah. Christmas. By the way, Christmas Evil is definitely better than Silent Night, Deadly Night, Fight Me. All right, Hands down. nice. Hands down. That's I mean, um, Christmas Evil for horror Christmas movies. That's probably my top. Mm-hmm. With probably I watched Saint. I think it was Saint Nick. The, yeah. the one that the one that was the uh, no it was it was like I don't know it had Slayer in the I forget what it was called now I I watched on streaming and it was freaking ridiculously good but it was like a more early two thousands one like two thousand three or five or something and it was hmm. ridiculously insane it had cheesy taglines and and it had like a wrestling guy in it I'm gonna I'm just like oh oh um Santa Slay you know Santa Slay yeah. that's it yeah I just that's got it. that hang on yeah. hang on. Goldberg. Goldberg. Right? Goldberg. Nice. I got it right here still. I haven't shit. cataloged it, but oh my god, it's amazing. I haven't seen it, haven't seen it yet. Yep. It is so good. Watch that. Oh my god. Um, okay. And then Deadly Games came out from Vinegar Syndrome, which is a French uh, Christmas film. It's like pre Home Alone, way better and ridiculous. 
and it got a 4K release too. Is that the one with the alternate title that's like Code 911 uh, Santa yeah. or something? Or 3615 yeah, yeah, yeah. Code Perry Noel. That's or, it. <laughs> yeah, Deadly Games, like Dial Code Santa Claus. Like, Dial yeah. Club Santa Claus. Okay. Yeah. It's fantastic. The kid has the best either. mullet in the movies, and he's like 12. I'm sold. <laughs> yeah. But it's French, so like you have to watch subtitles. Like, okay. Yeah. It's, it's fine. That's Trust fine. me, it's fine. We can do that. Yeah. 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 We can do there, it. There's still We're over a thousand in stock. So just watch the stock and maybe get it on the next sale at half off sweet so, but highly recommended yes santa slave whoo that was a movie it is fantastic is not pure recommendation man so so is goldberg santa yes yes right. fran drescher is in it yeah for and fran drescher wow for a moment and is what's his like, name uh like chris Catan. is he like oh. fear people yeah, is he evil yeah. Santa? Is he yes. Yeah. Oh, trust right. me. Like, I, I don't want to spoil it, but like, how this movie hasn't got more of like a buzz at this point? It's so ridiculous and so like good and cheesy and amazing. At the same how did time. they get Chris Kattan? Like, where did they dig him up from? Well, it was like 2003, <laughs> so he was probably doing anything at that. Point. All right. Yeah. Good point. It's, yeah. it's the era of time where these. Yeah, I think isn't James Con in that scene too? What? Yeah, he might be. No way. It's yes. got Saul Rubinick in it too. Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah, Freaking like, you gotta got to watch this. Like, <laughs> all right, that's actual, like, actors in it. I'm this is the uh, best listen. version of the release, a uh, DVD, like, widescreen DVD. I, I know. I'm, I'm literally getting right that. Now. What's oh. with that picture? It's on, it looks all Photoshoppy. Oh, I think it was on Tubi it or Shutter. I forget where I watched it. I watched it on streaming. I don't have oh. it yet, but I'm getting yeah. that DVD. It's like six ninety nine or something. It's so oh, cheap. It's I got Shutter. I'll look for it. Yeah. yeah. Look for it. Like, good. It's on Shutter? I, I think so. Know. I don't. I don't remember exactly where it was. The, I I have Tubi and I had a free trial of Shutter because Christmas Evil was on there. I've seen that when I've been scrolling through, like looking for something to watch. So I know it's on one of my streaming services. Yeah, but Christmas Evil for sure is like more of a feel good movie, and this is more of just like an ass kicking like slasher moment. It's a and it's feel like, good movie. man, I feel like Christmas like, Evil is pretty brutal. Yeah. But it's like it's a little, but it 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 has that twinkling of Christmas time in the way that like a Christmas story does. Nice. <laughs> uh, no way. Just, I, that's the same I movie. Feel like I there's, did. That's I like it in that way. Like do you the right Christmas evil? Because like, I think there's two. I feel like it's it's, it's yeah, you so better watch like out very, the Christmas evil. I feel like it. I feel like it's very Joker esque, as it's like a, a slow burn into like. Just madness. craziness. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Slow burden to madness. Totally agree with that mm. for sure. But I feel like it, the way that that Christmas is presented by this guy, he be, like he believes. He's got the spirit. Yeah. He has yeah. the spirit. Yeah. Like right. he has the yeah. he has he's the naughty and nice spirit. book it's, with like the ledgers and the years. Like he's yeah. he wakes up. He does That's his, his so calisthenics crazy. to the record, the Christmas music. <laughs> like you know, he's got his Santa pajamas and he puts the stuff on his face and then it's like, you know, he's in that moment. And he's like, oh, so good to look. And he's like, you better watch out. Like, yeah. You guys need to see yep. Deadly Game style food Santa. Yes. For sure. All right. Oh, and don't open till yeah, Christmas. That's, on, that's definitely on Shutter. So I just ordered yep. Santa's Slay. So I'll, I'll, yeah. I'm going to watch it now. Yes, you should. Yeah. When I get You'll it. enjoy it. I think I'm Deadly Games was the I Joe Bob uh, Christmas special. Oh, so that's on Shutter too. So, probably. like, you got the yeah, Joe Bob cool. like kill uh, counter and everything else going on. So oh, amazing. But Shutter's Blue- got a Nosferatu too. That's got Christmas stuff all through it. So the the Blu-ray does include the Bonnie Tyler music video, <sighs> dude. Yeah, they they got Bonnie Tyler for this French film for the song. Like, it's Man. it's so ridiculous. Max, that means you need to get a Blu-ray player. Yeah, like get like a PlayStation maybe- Three or something. I have an we have an Xbox, like a regular Xbox, like an X, <laughs> uh, Xbox One, not the first one, but the one that's not the S, but that one. Yeah, I think that plays Blu-ray. Three sixty. That plays Blu-ray. If it's an Xbox One, is it Xbox Three Sixty? <laughs> I know they're all the same. Oh, they're all it's the same in my mind. <laughs> Microsoft did a great job of differentiing their product. Xbox yeah, sure 360, <laughs> One, One yeah. X, One S. What are they on now? I don't know. It's not yeah. two. That's for sure. Yeah. That would have been too easy. Sony yeah. was like one, two, three, four, five. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. And Nintendo just calls them completely different names. Like, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. 
whatever. Cool. That's fine. So, so yeah, get a Blu-ray player. What are we talking about here? Laserdisc? I don't know. I don't know. We were talking about sweet Christmas movies that everyone sweet yes. Christmas movies. Yes. yes. <laughs> hey, we made this. Guys, time to move on. Yeah. All right. We're gonna wrap what are we up? moving into though? Like, there's nothing coming up that's important. Nah. Nah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> Let's keep watching Christmas movies. <laughs> Good times. All right. I guess we're wrapping up. Yep. Sorry, bye. Peace. Bye to the kids. Thanks for I hanging out. It, guys. Thank you for having me. Thanks for joining us. It's been too long, my friend. Yeah, man. Yes, sir. And yeah. Until next time. <laughs>